Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, this light's not going to work. I was trying to leave the, the window open. It's not sunny. It's actually really overcast, but I don't know. It's something about the natural light I thought would be nice, but I don't know. I might have to brighten it up a little bit maybe, and maybe then we can leave the window open. It is a little shadowy, but I don't know. How is everybody this Sunday morning? I know there's a delay, so I'm going to wait for things to catch up. But I think I'm going to try to brighten me up, maybe. Fill me up. Fill me up, buttercup. That's not the way it goes, but there's something about it's not brighten me up, but it made me think of fill me up, buttercup. I look tired. Um, I don't know. Somebody can let me know if that's going to work or if I need to shut the window and go into a cave on this this Sunday morning. <laughs> well, I love your name, a woman who sees. Hello and good morning. Hello, Miss Deirdre. And I saw Jamie was on and Lenore and Al. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Aquarius Owl. We're just going to sing. Yeah, I'm going to hit on the journals first just because a couple people have messaged me asking. Um, so I wanted to do a quick, I usually do a, um, you know, a journal prep for, but I don't have next year's journal unless I keep this one. So, but I've been asked. So there are some people who are obviously ordering planners and so have asked me and I can't find I cannot find it I've been all over my apartment this morning and I don't have a very big apartment which is sometimes the problem I'm sure I'm gonna find it as soon as I'm done with this video I'm gonna find it um last year I started with the Elephi I have a video I mean let's start a let's start a uh, post of what I need to stick underneath Hello, Mr. Simon. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're singing in the rain. I don't know. I feel singing this morning. We're in trouble. Um, I will put a link below afterwards to my review, I think, of the Elephi, which I purchased last year. Uh, and so there are some people, there's a new one that's coming out. It's not called that anymore. It's by Cocorina. You know, she does a different one every year. And I kept it so that I could have this conversation, but I can't find it. I put it somewhere very, yes, exactly, Lenore. I stored it very safely so that I could do what I'm going to do today, and I can't find it. I know it's in this apartment, and this apartment is small, but I cannot for the life of me find it. So we're just going to talk about it. I used the Cocorina Elephi last year for about six months. That's why I wanted it. Cause I think it was six months. I think it was six, it was five or six months, but I think it was a full six months. Well, you know what we can tell, we can actually tell, I'm going to try to do this. So I don't give away like personal information. Let me see when I think this started in August. Yeah. So actually seven months. Um, right? Would that be right? July. Yeah. So I used the LFE for seven months. So what the LFE um, is, is a combination of a, um, a combination of a, of a planner or a regular, pl a weekly planner, which a monthly weekly planner, which I loved the layout of, but then it also had, um, uh, spiritual stuff in it. So it had a lot of like workbook pages at the beginning of the month to, to kind of set your plans. And then at the end of the month, it had check in, like, how did your, you know, stuff go over the week? And you kind of checked in with things. I found those to be very, um, I never used them. And at the end of, at the beginning and the end of every month, I was really feeling judged by my planner for not doing them. <laughs> I found what I learned is that I 
I need my planner to be my planner <laughs> and I don't want to be judged for not having gone through all of this retrospection and I'm not a big journaler, right? So I don't journal. If I do journal, it's in very short, succinct. You'll see what that looks like for me. I don't, I'm not one of those people that journal on, uh, for, for long amounts of time. I kind of make quick notes that sink me into a particular reading or meaning, but I really don't write tons of journaling prompts and things like that. That's just not really my thing. And, and so I just ended up feeling guilty every time I skipped over those to get to the planner part. And so by July, you know, in August is when all of the um, school um, calendars and planners are coming out. I love planners. I have my whole life. And I used to, or thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Or orally. Oral, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, is the name of the new. And it's beautiful. I will say this. If you do like to journal. Now, my friend Patrick has used it all year and loves it. And uh, really, really loves it. This last year's one was, this current year, sorry, 2021, was based off of um, astrology. The one that's coming up next is a witchy vibe one, which looks really amazing. And I will say that the uh, workbook part of it is not it's not overkill. I think it's a nice amount. It's gorgeous, but I just found that for my planner, I just need it to be a planner. It's just, you know, we live and we learn. I have used my favorite planner ever, and I think this is what I'm going to order for next, for 2022, is the Hobonichi Weeks. Uh, I, we're too bright, aren't we? I'm going to have to shut this. Okay. All right, let's let's shut this. It's not gonna do us any good if we can't see anything. Now I'm probably glowing. Oh well. Um, the Hobonichi Weeks was, I think, my all-time favorite planner um, because it allowed me to have my weekly spread, which is what I live by, but it also gave me a bunch of grid paper in the back to do my bullet journal type type, type stuff that I do. And this was, I use this all year. I never switched to another planner with it. Um, I also use the weekly layout. The, the, this was, what year would this have been? This was 2019. So 2020, I used the um, uh, Midori Traveler's Journal with the weeks in it. And um, I need to, I went to order mine from Jet Pens, Jamie, and they're all sold out. Where did you get yours from? Did you get yours right from Hobonichi? Um, anyways, uh, the Midori Traveler's Journal has a week insert. And I also used that for all of 2020 and it worked really well. So I just had thought I would try with the Cocarina um, to try something that had a little bit more of a spiritual level into it. And it just didn't work for me. It, I just really did end up feeling judged by it. So when the 2008, or when the August calendars came out, Oh, I'm going to be in trouble. I, I, I got mine one year in December and was able to get it. So I've got to try to hunt it down this week because I've made that determination. That's what I'm going to do. Unless I stay here. And this is where, you know, this is where I'm kind of, uh, I, I'm conflicted. So I picked this up at Barnes and Nobles. Um, I really like the standard issue agendas. I've had their... Um, just their little notebooks before. Um, but I picked this up at Barnes and Nobles and I yeah, still got the correct price on the back. $34.99, although I had a coupon because I always use a coupon. So I really like this. This had this little folder. I don't, I don't care about this stuff. Had your personal information. I really like to see a couple types of yearly overviews. And this has that. So this has got this yearly overview, which I like. It has this yearly overview, which I use for birthdays. There's a lot of people in my family. Um, then there were some of these key things. I don't tend to use these. I just ask Alexander. I can't call her her real name or she'll get sticking her nose into things. 
Um, I really liked this. Obviously, I've covered it up for privacy. Um, it has a bill tracker, which is something that I usually use like one of the year heads for. So I like this bill tracker that's here. Um, and then it has contacts. I am using this for uh, password management for mostly for my daughter. You know, my partner's uh, mom has passed away. Uh, my friend's um, uh Miss Jamie has had to deal with um, a parent passing away and and not having access like to all their things. So I decided I better be, you know, plan ahead and give her a concise list of passwords and call. I have a note here with Patrick's phone number to call about Crystal and Dex to help her sort that stuff out. So I've kind of put a page for her in case anything happens to be to be a, a, a forward thinking uh, adult. Um, and so that's in there. And then it gets down to the business of what I like, which is uh, I'm going to try to skip to pages that don't have um, clients uh, scheduling. But I like a good monthly um, page. I don't use them a lot, uh, but I do, like this is 2019, I don't really do a lot with the monthly, but I like to have it. I like to be able to see it. Um, I do jot certain things down on there. And so I really want to, I always want to have a monthly in there, even if I don't do much with it. But for me, let me skip to a page that doesn't have stuff on it. For me, I uh, live by the weekly planner. Um, that is what keeps me functioning. Uh, it is what works for me. But why I like the Hobonichi Weeks is that it has the week and then it has uh, gra graph over here that I just kind of continue over and can use. And this setup just works really well for me. So on this one, it has the weeks, it has a, a to-do list checklist, and then it has some blank places for, um, and it doesn't come with the stickers on it. I just stuck those on there. Um, it comes with a place for notes and things. So this is actually a really good setup for me. Um, and I tend to put personal stuff here I put all my readings uh, schedule in my readings on this side, classes, anything like that, go on this little line here. And this just works really well for me. So the only <clears throat> reason that I don't particularly love this one is this uh, binder ring thing. And it's also really bigger than what I need it to be. Again, I use this for a year straight and it was plenty of room for me. So um, I don't know, this does go through all of 2022. So I, you know, there's a part of me that's like, I just need to stick this out all the way through. But knowing myself, I'll probably be hunting down a weeks again, because it just worked. It was really compact. Um, the other planner that I use, which I'll show you in a second, is this one. And so these two things together makes really nice grab and go, um, but have everything that I need at my fingertips as well. So my, so the, the short and the long of it is, I love the Cocorina um, LP. I thought it was gorgeous. I didn't think it was overkill on the journal retrospection, but I just found that for myself, I just need my planner to be my planner. Um, and it did, it just, I really did. I felt like guilty every time I came to the beginning of it and I would flip through. I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to write these. And I just like, Close. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. And I felt guilty. And then at the end of the month, when I was wrapping things up, I felt guilty because I didn't do the pages. So yeah, that's, that's my lesson for 2021 is that I don't need to be judged by my planner. So that's that. I did find this great set of, I love stickers and things. Sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. Um, but uh, I found this uh, and it was 50% off always use coupons or sales but i really like these like this is really the color palette goes well for me and it has a whole bunch of just floral uh clear kind of clear washi tape stickers and it has a whole bunch of them and then even the solid stickers are very much my color palette and my uh aesthetic for all these uh, little bits and bobs to be able to throw in and little flags and things so i have that um, to use with my regular planner. So that's what 
I'm using right now, which is the, again, standard issue agenda. Um, I got it at Barnes and Nobles. My plan is to hunt down uh, Hobonichi Weeks for 2022. I don't know if I'm going to do the mega. I'll be honest with you. I think the original would have been fine. I used it a lot. Like I used it for uh, my whole, when I did this 2019 is when I did my journey Oracle. And so I did a lot of planning for my journey Oracle. Um, so I used the graph, but if you look, I have like, more than this much, more than half of the graph I didn't use. So I think I could actually just do the regular Hobonichi weeks, not the weeks mega. I don't think I need the mega. Um, but that is my planner plan. I also have, and I'm going to do a walkthrough or a review of this because um, somebody had asked me to. Um, I was sent this 2022 lunar and seasonal uh, planner by uh, Rockpool uh, to take a look at. And I do think it's gorgeous. Again, I'm going to do a walkthrough of this. What I, If I used this, I, I'm going to talk about this in a second and, and it will make more sense. But what I would use this for would be for tracking readings, um, tracking workings, things like that. I did really like the, and again, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing a walk through this right now, but I will. I did like all the information, and what I liked was that each of the months there was a uh, goddess, I think, that's being set out, um, and so the goddess of the month is Diana. It gives information about Diana. Um, this is the, I checked the moon phases of this one is Eastern standard time. So it goes with my, uh, Eastern standard, um, time it's in a week's format, which I appreciate. So I could, what I'm doing in here, which I'll show you in a second, I could transfer into here when, uh, 2020, um, 20, uh, 22 starts. And I will say that the workbook part is just this one page. So I thought that's not bad. That's just like, what would I like to create and experience? What are important dates for me? What would give me uh, joy? What am I devoted to? Some ideas for the month. It's just that one page. So I feel like that's not super judgy. <laughs> um, and then it has all the wheel of the year things throughout the year as well. So I'll do a walkthrough of this. Um, but I wouldn't use this as my main planner. Um, this would be for um, would be for what is in here. So I'll, let's look at that real quick. Um, uh, Cheryl says I use the back of the mega for sort of daily journal. Yeah, see that's what I'm that and that might make me do mega because I'm thinking I could put what's in here into the back of the week. So let me zoom in a little bit. Although I'm not going to go too in depth into this because that I'm doing a workshop on uh, weather tracking uh, next Saturday, and so that's kind of what that's about. But this is just a Leuch term, a small Leuch term. Um, I know I have one of those, uh, anti we're going to get to that in a second. I just saw somebody say something th about the antiquarian sticker books. I've just picked one up and we're going to play around with that today. Um, anyways, this is a, uh, Leuch term 1917, but it's a smaller, uh, soft, uh, cover. And I really love this size. And so I track and I, I was doing it on sheets. I had different ways of doing it. But I track weather, right? So I've been doing this for about two years now, um, but in different formats. I'm really liking this format. And so, you know, it's not hard to do, you know, at today's Sunday. So on, this is this week's. So on this week, I will just make the weekly spread. It's really simple to do so. Um, I just use um, this little tool that I got from Michael's that has circles and it's got a line, you know, I've had this forever, like a ruler and it's got circles and hexagon shapes. Just make some lines across, um, use the circles to do circles for the wind, for the compass and circles for the moon phase. Um, and it really doesn't um, take much time for me to set this up. I'm not precious with it. I'm not trying to be super fancy or neat on it. Um, and this has been really fantastic for, uh, again, 
tracking weather, um, tra and I these are my notes. Like it's literally just little notes. There was a shift in direction, an abrupt shift in the wind to the west as the sun set on my birthday. That was my birthday, um, and so that and then you know what that means to me. If I've done anything uh, like uh, workings or something like that, I make note of it. Uh, so for example, I made scrying ink here. I charged a scrying bowl on that. Um, I collected storm water. Uh, oh, here I collected Scorpio storm water. So just sort of those types of things like that. Um, I could probably do this in the back of here although i like the space that i have is just right this would definitely be a little less space um but i could probably utilize this uh back part so and then i might get the mega because then i could put all this into one journal um entry and then i also have tracked now this is extra messy be, or uh, there's a lot going on here because it's embraced the magical so i'm doing daily draws which i don't normally do so this was my birthday um spread that i did a birthday spread that miss jamie did pulled for me from her sticker uh cards and so i just have uh, written more than i would normally write because it's my birthday uh, reading but normally i will either like this i'll just print out um i would print out you know maybe the this is what i wrote in instagram with that particular card but mostly i just will take a picture of the card it's the you know the second day of embrace the magical i got the queen of earth and the keyword was web that's really all i I don't write a lot. If I got a particular message from my ancestors, I'll just jot down a quick note there. Um, this is, again, more than I would normally do because of Embrace the Magical going on. So whenever I do a reading, I just stick it in there, and then I note it in the thing that I did, birthday reading, page six, and then I can go to that reading. Um, again, this this week's spread will go here. I'm going to print that out in a second. And then uh, the, the ones that I have so far for the second week uh, will go here. And then I'll just go on to the next week's spread here. So this um, is working out really well for that. And again, it's possible I could combine that into the week. So I'm that makes me think I should probably get the mega um, if I again, if I want to do that. But this is what I'm doing for planners. Um, let me stick this back in here so I don't lose it. Uh, right now, this is what I'm doing for planners until obviously 2022 starts up. <laughs> um, Al says, I love my modernity's traveler's notebook and inserts. I use that all for 2021. No, 2020, sorry. 2021 was my Midori, and I did love it. I will say the only thing that I didn't like about the Midori Traveler's Notebooks versus the Weeks, I like the paper better on the Traveler's Notebook, but I just, I, to me, I can't really beat being able to just open up and have it lay flat the midori journals for me were you know it's always bulkier because i have a couple different journal things in there and it just never just laid flat i really love how this uh the weeks or the midori or, sorry the hobonichis i really love how they lay flat and the thin paper really doesn't bother me yes you can see through it but it's not obnoxious to me and it worked again i used it all of 2019 so that this is kind of where i've landed uh for 2022 once i get it and start to set it up i'll i always do a video of my setting up for the next year um so i'll do that but again some people had had questions because they're starting to buy their calendars and so i definitely wanted to um touch bases on planners so let me stick this over here out of the way it's gonna slide and we'll stick this over there so I can put it back with my other calendars where my elephie should be I don't know what I did with it I put it someplace very safe for this purpose and lost it okay let's see what are we gonna do next let me zoom back out here so somebody was talking about the antiquarian um, 
I have, I've got a couple things to do. We're, we're really just going to chit chat and do things. Let me, let me grab this. I need one of these for sure. Here. And I probably should just grab, oops, sorry, Val, I scared you. Where's my smaller one? Here it is. Sorry, I, this is called being super prepared. Let's grab this because we're going to be doing some things and that way it won't get super sticky down here. Um, Elle says, I actually got the wider size still with the Midori paper, but yes, bulky is why I'm moving to digital. I've tried digital a couple times. I do like paper uh, so much for planners. I just, I've never stuck with it, but I like the idea of digital. I'm, I'm excited to see what you do with it. Um, and Antoinette says, Stayology, Stayology A5 has been good so far. Same paper as a Hobonichi. I've not heard of that one. Let me just go over here and start a tab. Uh, and let me put in Stayology A5. Planner. There we go. Oh, you guys can't see this. Well, I'll put a link so you can see it. Uh, jet pens. I love jet pens. Ooh, I like to look at those. They look nice and clean and wider. Okay, so I might have to look. Is is it 365 days? So that looks like a daily. I wonder if they have a weekly. I'm definitely a weekly person. I got to have my weekly. I'll put this link here so I'm, I've lost you guys. Well, Shay does digital as well. Deirdre likes the Stayology as, as well. Here's just a link. I don't. Michael's carries Stayology. I don't feel like I've ever seen it before. I feel like I've, I I am always in the planner section. I'll have to look. I don't think my Michael's carries it, but I will take a look. Okay. Let's see. What do I need to accomplish today that I have? I've got a pile over here. Oh, here, this is, we're, we're just sharing now uh, crafty things for this week. This, you know, Michael's has these, um, I walked into Michael's and they had, uh, these are Amazonite and they're flat on one side. They're made for like jewelry. These are perfect for runes. If you want to make yourself a set of runes, um, these really are fantastic because it's, you know, crystal, so there's a little bit of weight. Um, it's got the flat surface on one side to draw on. I just use a gold paint pen and then an ivory paint pen to make it stand out because my eyes are bad. Um, I didn't think the gold stood out as much, but I, and then I put two coats of Mod Podge. We'll see how it's going to hold up. Um, but I put two uh, coats of Mod Podge over them. I wanted a set of, uh, a small set. I have a large set of Anglo-Saxon uh, Northumbrian runes. And so I wanted a complete uh, set of Northumbrian runes but uh, that were smaller, but still had some weight to them. And there's not a lot, it's harder to find sets of the Northumbrian room. So I made a set and I really love how they turned out. Uh, super easy to do. And I thought they turned out really nice. They had all different types of crystals. Like I remember seeing, um, uh, oh my gosh, my brain just totally shut down. Um, purple. Purple. All I'm seeing is purple. Anyways, they had different kinds of uh, of um, stones that you could use, and they were nice and flat. That was a nice little craft project this week. Um, don't go into Michael's. It's dangerous for me. <laughs> All right, I'm just I'm just getting like I have a pile over here, so I'm just like grabbing what's next. Okay. Somebody asked me about this, so I've already talked about it. I'm not going to belabor the point too much, um, but they had seen in my, and I've used this for a while. I've had this for quite a while. I think I have a video, some planner video, where I use it for um, 
my readings to take a picture of my readings and stick them in. I used it when I used the Hobonichi Cousin, the daily one for uh, readings, which I really enjoyed as well. I just didn't need the whole day. Um, but um, I started using it then. I really like the size of this. And I also use it in my um, sort of book of recipes like magic recipes and stuff like that I'll use it to take a picture of whatever I did and then and jot notes about it and so somebody had seen this and asked um asked again what this was this is the canon ivy not sponsored I purchased this years ago I know you can still get it because I just got paper for it um and I saw it at Best Buy but what so what I do is they are little um papers right so these are papers sticker papers that um the ink is i don't know it's built into the paper right so you don't have there's no ink in this little machine there's ink in the paper itself i'm not an expert here so what i do is i turn it on hopefully it's charged i didn't even check yes okay so then on your phone because that's where we mostly take pictures right um Canon. Let me get it open without. Okay. So there is an app for your phone, which you're not going to be able to see because maybe a little bit uh, here. So I'm going to go to photo album and I'm going to select more photos. Let me see. Okay. I can't see. So I need the last two that I did, which I haven't posted yet. There we go. So I selected the photos that I want to print. Um, and then I'm going to go back here and do collage because I use. Most of the time I use this two, uh, so I can select two pictures here and click it, and you're not gonna be able to see very much, but I'm just gonna move it so I can see the card. I'm not super worried about it because this is just for tracking the card itself. I'm not trying to get too precious about it. And then I just hit the little print button and it is going to print out here, which I'll show you in a second. And so that's, that's what I use for printing that. There are, I've looked at, I think there's one called the Selfie, S-E-L-P-H-Y. It's more of a bigger printer, but it's a bigger printer and I don't really need it. I don't need big sticker pages. Like I don't need big photos. So I either use the full one while well, this is doing that and I'm, hopefully it has the ink. Um, I'll use, this is the full size one uh, that I use for my birthday reading. And then these are like where I cut them in half for those daily draws. Again, I don't normally have this many readings stuck here. It's just because it's uh, Embrace the Magical. And so then these are the half size ones where I just cut it in half. So um, it's printing itself out here. And I, you could probably mess with the settings in terms of trying to get it to brighten up. It's enough for me. Uh, let me grab real quick. I just, um, I also use it, you know, if, I, if I've if i done sort of a working or something, it just sort of gives me the overall feel of whatever it is that I did. Or like, for example, I've made a bunch of salt, seasonal salts. And so I can see what the seasonal salt looks like um, in the book. It's, you know, some of them are a little bit dark. I've never really messed with the settings too much. But I do find it useful. Like this is where I uh, made a scrying a tincture for next week's workshop, uh, which we'll walk, we will walk through in the workshop. But, you know, it's just a picture that gives a little bit of uh, an idea of what's going on there. So it doesn't, I, for me, it doesn't have to be super perfect or fancy. Um, but oh, I also need to print out, the, I did the spread for that. So, okay, it printed. And so I'm gonna go back here and go back into the photo. Oh, I think I have to, this only thing I don't know, cause I really just use this super, super basic. Um, I've not dove into all of the bits and bob, um, bobs of it, but I need to add in, select more photos. Oh no, did I get rid of it? Oh, no, here it is. So I need, so this one, 
I'm going to uh, print the full way because this is a, uh, a bigger spread. So I'm going to print that one, the full sticker paper. Um, selfie, but okay, let's see. Somebody, I debated for a long time, finally took the plunge setting up as my to-do list today. Uh, pretty cool. I've never seen it. Yes, the, somebody said something. Else. Yeah, the selfie seemed too big. I know. I really do love this little Lloyd's term. It's like perfect. Um, so that's going to print. But while that prints, um, I'm just, all I do is just go in and cut it in half. Again, I know you can mess with the settings. I just really haven't haven't done so. Um, I probably shouldn't move that while it's printing. You can also, I haven't tried them yet. Uh, I just grabbed a box of them. You can also um, get the little round stickers now. Uh, and print them off on stickers, but I haven't tried uh, tried that yet, which I thought would be fun to play around with. But there's that. Uh, Laura says she has a, yes, I've seen the Kodak one, and it looks like it's the same sort of idea as that uh, as this. So yeah, it's just, it's not sticky when it comes out. It's kind of done, and uh, you just peel off the back, and it's a sticker. So in this case, I have the spread also put here. And then I'll go in and write a little bit about this particular spread here. And then these two are for um, eight. This was eight. Is that where I'm at? Eight and nine. Uh, I feel like I should have another one that I need to print out. I'll have to go through and double check it. Because this was the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Uh, six and seventh, yes. And then this is the eighth, and this is the, what's today? Today is the tenth. No, I'm missing one. So I have to go find the one I'm missing um, and print that out. And then those are good daily. Again, I don't normally have this many readings to put in, so they're usually just scattered in uh, as I go. It's just because we've got the Embrace the Magical going on. So, I but I did want to point that out because, again, somebody had asked me about that. So I get a lot of use out of this. I've had this for a couple years now. I don't know, to be honest, when I got it. Um, but I've certainly had it for a while. And it just does what it's supposed to do, which is what I like, right? When things just do what they're supposed to do. And I want to say when I bought it, I don't know what they are now. Um, yeah, that I looked at those two, those thermal printers, Cheryl, or those like washi tape printers. Um, I really heavily looked at those, but the paper, um, yeah, they didn't have any color to them. And then a lot of the papers, the they would just fade really relatively quickly. So I ended up saying, you know what, this works. This does what I need it to do. I'm good there. Okay, I need to not, I could have got to finish sticking those down and writing there. Okay, so that's that. All right, we're, we're working our way through bits and bobs of stationary style stuff. Uh, playing with paper. Um, this I need to do, so I figure I will do this real quick. I, and while we chit chat, we can be, um, so I had an amazing dream the other night. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I do have very, very vivid dreams. I always have a lot of my messages and uh, works with my guardians, comes up in dreams, and I absolutely love it. So um, no complaints there, but I had an amazing dream. I, wo I woke up from it. I love it when the really good dreams, what was the Square Journal brand? Oh. This little journal, uh, it says art creation, art creation today. I, I'm going to guess, uh, I don't know where I got this. Maybe Hobby Lobby. Uh, I've had that for quite a while. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Sorry, because this is about finding stuff and giving ideas. So let's see, art creation square sketchbook. 
Ah, uh, here it is. Um, um, you can get it at Dick Blicks or Blick Art. Sorry, it's not Dick Blicks. Here it is. I want to put a link up to it, but it's the square one. Uh, copy. I keep losing you. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. It's because it's too long. But anyway, sorry. Art creation. If you just put in art creation square uh, sketchbook, that should come up for you. Sorry. <laughs> it was too long of a... What I like about this is that my working space with all my herbs has little cubicles. And this fits perfectly into the little cubicle. So that's why I have that. Um so anyways, I had an amazing, amazing uh, dream of a tree that got planted. You know, if you follow my channel, you probably have seen this little map of my inner world. And I it, right behind this little cottage, there's this empty space. Um, and that kind of got filled in. And these, this has kind of grown throughout time. And that got filled in with this wonderful tree uh, spirit. Uh, that was just an awesome, amazing dream. And so I wanted to stick that into my book of my inner space. So I have a, once I cut this out, it's hard to cut and talk, apparently. What seems very difficult? I, I don't think we've done anything today yet that's difficult, but we're just playing. We're just playing today. This is a uh, um, Leuchtturm again. I clearly, I, I like the Leuchtturm paper. This is a Leuchtturm 1917, but it is a big, soft co cover. I don't know what size this is. I don't know if it says it somewhere or not. I don't see where it says it, but it's definitely a bigger, uh, you know, a lot, much larger than even their regular Lloyd Sherm. So I have that map that you saw. I have stuff that I put in there about different things about that inner space. So I'm just going to stick this in here real quick. Um, I just got it, Aquarius. You know, I was telling, uh, I think I was telling Deirdre the other day that over the course of the last year, and plus really two years if you count my computer all of my tech has died like all of my tech i have replaced my camera that's right here i've replaced that camera that's right here i've replaced my microphone died and was making me sound like i was demon possessed in my classes i replaced my laptop but that was that was the year before Everything that I have tech-wise has died. Uh, the only thing that has not so far is this mouse, but the keyboard died. And I was like, it's just like every time I turn around, there is another thing, piece of tech. I don't think I have any more tech that I must have bought it all at the same time and it all decided to die at the same time. So I was hunting, but I really wanted something small because I do all my work at my reading table in terms of my computers right here. So I really love it. This is a Logitech. I don't know what it is, but it's a Logitech. I love it. I, I just got it. But I love how I can just pick it up. It's small, but it's comfortable to type on. I am. I shouldn't have done that first. Let me, let me do this one real quick. Um, yeah, I love it. And I saw they had pink. I almost went for the pink, but everything over here is so not pink that I ended up getting the gray one. <laughs> the demon voice was crazy. Yeah. I, Chris, I remember Chris kept saying, uh, you sound like you're demon possessed again. Not that we're complaining, but <laughs> it's kind of hard in class if you can't, uh, if you can't hear, uh, other than, or get distracted by the demon sounds coming out of me. So anyways, that was the last, I don't, I feel like there's nothing else tech wise that I haven't replaced this year. And so hopefully. <laughs> Except for this mouse. Now, I probably jinxed it, and this mouse is going to die. Um, so, anyways, I just took a picture of the of a yew tree that looked like the yew tree. And then I wrote, you know, as soon as I wake up, if you're somebody who tracks your dreams, like, as soon as you wake up, um, 
you know, write it down so that you have it. And so I wanted to add that in to here and pro and I even drew a little picture. Uh, I drew a little tree in here because that's where it was at. It's where it took place in my interstate world. So that I wanted to stick in there. So we're just kind of doing all the little things that I need to do. Sundays are generally my prep day. So for example, um, it, you know, every Sunday I kind of go through all anything that I have to prep um, and take care of it. So for, for this, what I would be doing, let me grab my bucket O pens. Hi, Alicia. There's no lateness. We're just we're really, this is just stuff that I have to do anyways. And so I thought it would be fun to, um, I thought it would just be fun to sit and chit chat and do it together um, is really what it comes down to. Let's take the black. Elizabeth said, read all the broken stuff. Having a Mars or Uranus transit through your second house. I'll have to look, but I really think it's because everything, I buy everything at the same time. And it's been years and it just was time for it all to break. It was just the time for it to all break. Um, and it just happened at the same time. It's the same thing happens with makeup for me, right? Uh, makeup all goes out at the same time because I usually buy it in one swoop and then it all just has to be repurchased at the same time uh that happens to me also that's what it feels like okay so i'm going to just quickly show you how quickly it is and i'm not precious about this book um i love dot grids so i always get dot grids although i don't mind the square grids as well um but i'm really not precious about this it's a working uh, journal, and as long as it does what I need it to do. So I just do this every Sunday, um, sit down and prep things for the coming week. I also tend to, like, it's when I go over my finances and make sure I know what I spent and what I have and kind of make note of that. So I'm forced to see it when I go into the week. Um, I am forced to, let's see where I, where I put this one. Um, I'm forced to be able to uh, see how much money I do or don't have so that I'm keeping eyes on it all the time. And I use this bottom piece just for little notes of something, what's happening. Like, for example, um, on this week, Pluto Direct in Capricorn, Foundational Transformation, uh, October 6th through April 29th, there was a shift there. So I made sure to make note of it. So I use that little piece down there. Um, to make note of that um, so that I'm aware of it. So I know this is all boring stuff, but this is how I set it up for the coming week. And it, it really doesn't take long. You know, obviously people set up bullet journals and things like that. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing it four or five, six, seven. Um, people set up really fancy bullet journals and things. This uh, is not one of those uh, fancy things. This is just for notes that come up throughout the week. Um, it is the week of, and of course I don't have my calendar open, so let's take a look. Um, it is the week, what are we going into? The week of the 10th, is today the 10th? Yes, looks like it. We already checked that. The 10th. So I just put up here that it is the week of October 11th through, I do, I do Monday through Sunday, Monday through 17th, nothing fancy there. And then what I do with this, because as you can see, I use this to track uh, the weather and, and some as astrological shifts as well. So I use these little circles here and the weather one goes over three dots. Is it this one? No, it's this one, two, three, there's little notches on them. And so I just stick that in there again. I'm really not being precious about everything. This is uh, just a working book. It needs to be functional for me. Um, it doesn't need to be fancy or pretty. Uh, it just needs to do what it does correctly. 
So that is for my compasses. One, oops, let me find it. One, two, three. I'll show you what I do with those in a second. Um, I have, like I said, I have a class next, a workshop next Saturday on weather tracking and scrying. And so this is kind of to do with that. Um, I will show you one second here. We're going we're gonna to pull that up in a minute. And I will be happy to show you. Let me just get my compass arms on here before, or my direction arms on here before I lose track of what I'm doing. So I set that up so that all I have to do is put the wind direction. And I'll do today's over there so you can see what I'm doing. But it's the way it's all set up for the week. And then I also do the moon and I've tr I've marked on here though it's hard for me to see it which one I use this one I use for the moons and then let me see where I stick it I always forget and it's not always the same okay so it's this one and I can't I think I do this one so then I just put the um sorry you're probably seeing nothing but my head Ooh, let's see, let me get it where I'm at here. So I just put that, and then I'll show you the Moon app that I use. And I'll go in. I won't do that right now because it will take too long, but I'll show you what I use. And I'm sure I'm getting these not right but that's okay again i don't i'm not super precious about this it's just like a working do your thing so the moon app that i use so once i get that done so that's all my moons um a time passage is what i use for astrology uh for sure and this won't work because you probably won't be able to see it but I have a folder with, I use time passages and I use this CoStar, which is free. I actually do like this, uh, co this, uh, CoStar, but I, for my, you know, I do past life readings for people and I do astrology readings for people and I look at their charts. Um, so I use the, uh, time passages for p doing big charts, but for myself, this little free app called CoStar, I quite enjoyed this. I haven't been using it super long, but I have quite enjoyed that. For moons, I use Deluxe Moon. I've used it forever. Um, I like that you can switch to the calendar view. So then I will literally take like a Tombow Black. Again, I'm not being super precious with this. Can't find my lid. Um, and so I can use that to just kind of go in again uh, and uh, fill in. Oops, I went the wrong way that's all right we'll just go like that and fill it in uh and so i can use that to um kind of fill in roughly this would be the roughest ever but that's okay um roughly fill in the moon phases and i should have put the dates on before i did this because that's going to make 11 12 13 14's got a bit of a curve there uh, 15 has more of a curve there. Again, I'm not trying to be exact. And 16 has a very little scoop over here. And 17 has a super thin little scoop over here. Um, and then you can go through and do... Uh, I have two pens that I use in this book that now probably have gotten lost. Or I stuck the red one. I no, that's the red one, the blue one. So I use these two, um, and then I change the color often of what the dates are. So we'll just pick a different color for this week. What color shall we choose? Purple. Um, and so this will be Monday the 11th. All I do is note Monday 11, Tuesday 12, Wednesday 13. 
Thursday, 14, Friday, 15, Saturday, 16, Sunday, 17. So the next thing that I do is I will go through. So with this moon app, you can start on so we can go over here and see okay uh it's in capricorn so i will make a note of those as you can see over here i do make a note of what sign they are in and i'll do that for the rest of the week which i won't do right now but i just kind of scroll my way through the week and fill in where that is the other thing that i do uh weekly is i go to instagram um oops let me Go to Instagram search and I just have to click search and my friend Patrick's comes up and then he does once a month like a check in. So I will go and look and see if there's anything uh, that I need to add that is happening. So I had already put in the seventh one. So I don't need to do that. The tenth one I had already put in the Saturn direct um, on the 18th. That's next week. So, no, I don't have anything big astrologically that I need to know. If I did, I would note that down here. So, this is pretty much set to go other than the, the signs that the moon is in for next week. So, this is this week's. Um, and so, what the app that I use for this, and again, this isn't going to make any sense. Um, I'm doing a, uh, again, a workshop next Saturday about it, but I use, that's on my front page. I use this wind compass and take a quick peek. I usually do this in more in the morning before I go to bed or when I wake up in the morning, sorry. And the wind is going to the north and it is 10.9 to 19.9 miles per hour. And take a peek at the temperature, 65 to 82. Uh, I mostly pay attention to the humidity because that makes a difference in workings. And, but also sometimes the pressure, although I found that doesn't move too much in my area. And I usually will look and see what, if there's any major wind shifts coming for the coming week. Um, but I won't do that today. Um, and just now, in no, it is cloudy uh, in right now. And then I will make notes as the day goes. So that's like today's, but this is set up for next week. And so that's done. Bam, look at this. We are we are getting things done today. <laughs> These I keep out because I use them with that all the time. Oh, somebody's trying out a photo. I got uh spirit <laughs> has been shopping and it got the square sketchbook and mini photo printer. Awesome. Okay. So that is upkeep stuff. Now let's get to some fun stuff. Oh, I need to put, let's not, oh, I'm dropping stuff. I'm dropping stuff. Okay, let me put this stuff away so I don't lose it. I like the Lloydstrom's because they have these little pockets in the back. And so I just keep that right because I use this with this journal. And so I just keep it right in the back of that. And let's stick these. These are going to go into here. So I am going to stick those together. So I do like that. And I think that's in all of theirs. Their bullet journal size has it. And even this larger size has that pocket in the back, which is really nice and useful. I do love the Lloyd's Charm um, books. Okay, we don't need that anymore. So what do we got next? This is all Jamie's fault. This is a wandering mountain bardic pass fault. Um, she has been making sticker or sticker things, sticker cards. Let me, let me pick up some stuff here. So, um, she's been making sticker things. And so, um, she, I don't know if she has this one, Miss Jamie, you can let us know. I don't know if she has the bibliophilia one or if she has all of them. I don't know. I went over to... Barnes and Nobles, and they had three of them. They had this, they had one that didn't say Bibliophilia. It was just the antiqui anti Antiquarium Sticker Book. And then they had the Antiquarium Sticker Book Bibliophilia. And then they had uh, Antiquarium 
botanist or botany or something like that. But they were all the similar pro, uh, idea. This was $25.99. Uh, I, of course, used my, uh, my uh, not coupon, but I have a membership. I don't know what these cost on Amazon if, or if you can get them on Amazon. I'm assuming you can. But anyways, it's a book of stickers. Like, literally, this whole book is just stickers. So um, I wanted this for a couple reasons. A, because it's just cool. Um, I literally sat on the floor and until my legs fell asleep looking through them to try to determine which one I was going to get. I was there for a while. My legs fell asleep. I literally had to stand in the aisle until the pins and needles went away <laughs> from my feet um, because I had put myself to sleep. I, I am a floor sitter. I don't know about you guys, but I sit on the floor at home. I sit across like it on the floor, but I am over 50 now and it's getting a little bit harder to get up if I sit on the floor for a long time. Um, but even in my chair, I'm pointing to my couch, even on my couch, like I sit cross-legged most of the time, which is not good for old circulation, but I do. Um, but so I was just sitting on the floor until my legs fell asleep. But I decided on this one because um, what I want to do is make it, this one is different Okay, the one that doesn't say Bibliophilia just has lots and lots of, obviously, pictures. The Bibliophilia one has a two-page spread for each of the letters of the alphabet. So, obviously, we have a whole page of A's, and then it has some other things, and then it has... Um, a whole page of B's and then it has other things so on through the alphabet and it also has uh, the numbers which I wanted actually for my uh, fairy tale thing which we'll look at in a second so it has a, a page two page spread for each of the numbers as well so I wanted this for two purposes one I want to make an alphabet car uh, deck uh, for for pulling alphabet letters and what do you guys think here I, I really tried to google this but I can't come to a consensus to be able to have I'll start with just one card per letter of the alphabet but I'm thinking there are certain letters that there should be duplicates to be able to kind of make words. And it doesn't have to be spelled correctly as long as you can sound them out. I don't know. I can't decide if I'm just going to do one card for each alphabet letter or if I'm going to do like two cards for each. Do you need really two Qs though or two Zs? Probably not. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Answer in the comments. <laughs> Give me your input on how many alphabet cards I should do of each. But what I also really wanted this for was this. So if you've gone done any of these play with me, I have a set of fairy tale charms, a charm casting set of fairy tale charms. And I am absolutely in love with this uh, set. Are there any new ones that I've... Oh, I have a new one to add to this, actually. So we should go get that. Um, the little plates, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that. I love this little plate. Uh, do I have any new ones? The pig. I don't know if you've seen the pig. So cute. Um, the little lighthouse and the little... I don't know if you've seen the yarn ball of yarn. Um, but anyway, uh, the fan, I love this fan. Look at it, it opens up. Uh, I love this fan so much. Anyway, so this is my fairy tale charm casting set. And I absolutely love this so much. And I have this little journal that um, I'm doing, uh, and we did, we did a play with me already on this. Um, this is the, the format. This actually does have a system involved with it. Um, but then what I'm doing is I'm doing a page for each of the um, symbols um, that are there. So I have the fan is for symbol subtle power, right? Um, but also for concealment. We can use it to conceal how powerful we are. The books that I picked were Snowflower and the Secret Fan and uh, Memoirs of a Geisha. 
books. Uh, the book Snow Fire and the Secret Fan is amazing. And so is Memoirs of the Geisha. Geisha. The book uh, is what I'm talking about here. But I loved Snow Flower and the Secret Fan. So that's kind of what that goes along with. Um, and that idea of... Um, that idea of um, that there is much power behind the, the fan, that you're kind of using it to look weak and beautiful, but there's much more power. Um, in Snowfall and the Secret Fan, there was a whole language that they would use um, that was just for women, which was really amazing. So anyways, that's, that's the thing. So I'm going through and putting in, I don't have all the books yet, but I have most of them. I have a little chunk left. Um, so I picked different books that go with each or sometimes movies um, or sometimes songs from movies like Lady um, Bridget, the Lady of the Divine Feminine. I have uh, a scene from Frozen 2 and I have the whole lyrics um, of the song. Uh, the next right thing song in here. Um, and so I have um, books or sometimes movies for each of the charms that are there. Um, they're a little sticky at the moment, but um, that is what I'm doing. But I also, there were a lot of stickers um, in here that I, because I want it to be kind of collage-y. I just have random quotes that are in here. I have, if you haven't seen what I'm talking about, I've got quite a few videos up on this. Um, on charm casting in general, there's a lot of videos up. And then I have some recent ones where, you know, we were doing this as well. Um, so you can certainly find it. But um, just lots of quotes. I'm messy. Again, I'm not trying to be super precious, but I do want it to be kind of collage -y. And, you know, this is the book. And so I have the Grimm's Fairy Tales. I have different quotes here. I have the basic keywords at the top. But I thought I could use some of these stickers to also add into this. Now, I don't have this, like, I have a full casting set that I've used for years. I don't have a guidebook for it, but I just thought it would be so fun. A, this has a system, and B, I just thought it would be so fun to pull in quotes from books and um, stories because that's kind of the premise behind this particular casting set. Um, and I've really enjoyed, you know, I just kind of sit down every once in a while, pull a couple um, quotes um, and such as that. And I, when I was looking through this sticker book, I saw a lot of them that I could probably use um, for, uh, for this uh, to stick in here as well. So let's zoom in a little. How can we do this work? Let's take a look. I haven't been able to really like take a peek here. Let's see what we can find here. So again, they start with the alphabet. What I'm going to do with this is use a deck of playing cards. So I don't like this deck of playing cards because if you follow me, you know I have a very large collection of playing cards. But I don't like this one. I love the back. Um... I love the backing of this, but I don't, this is a bad deck of cards because if you'll see, when you start to scroll through, while technically there is a difference between the red and the black, you can barely see it. And personally, I think you can see it better on the camera than you can in person. That to me is not a good set of playing cards, but I think the backs are really um, gorgeous. And so I think I'm going to use this deck of cards for um, the alphabet deck. And I saw somebody, let me scroll back up here. Sorry. Uh, I lose track of my Jamie. Okay. Uh, Lenore, that's a good example. Maybe you can check a Scrabble game and get the ratio on letter tiles. Uh, Miss Jamie is thinking at least two. And again, I don't care if it, you know, this is what I'm thinking, right? Um, yeah, it's not, it's not good at all. Again, you can see it, but it's not, if you're playing a game or even doing divination, you would have to pay really close attention to, um, to the suit things. And you don't want to think about that when you're doing divination. So, um, uh, Let's see. 
weathermancy, <laughs> weather, claramancy, claramancy and scrying. So using, uh, doing scrying in stones, scrying in water is what's next week. I, I'm just seeing little clips of things while I'm scrolling up. Um, okay. There was somebody else had said something about, okay, here we go. Uh, Miss Elizabeth said, do you want, I, that's a good idea. I do like the idea of having like TH sounds. My thought is, um, my thought is, you know, if you have a set of rune cards, you don't have multiple runes, right? You just have one rune, one letter for each. But I like the idea of having some of the sound ones as well, like the TH sound, um, so that you don't have to get a T and an H. That is a really good point. So I need to look it up. I'm thinking start with one card with each of the letters and then put in some diphthongs or the sounds that, that are needed, right, for the English language. Um, and see, um, see about that, because that's a, that's a very good idea. But anyways, what I'm thinking is, let's just try one with the A. So there are some pages in here. This is what I really, there's quite a few with the books. And so I want to use that in my book here um, as look at the owls here. Look at how cool that is. Jamie, I think you use that for a Kipper card. Um, oops, sorry, can you see these? Yeah, you can see these. But there's a lot of actual books in here. Like this has got the quote, the books that are the books that the world calls immoral are books that show the world its own shame. The picture of Dorian Gray, which is an amazing book. Let me just say. Um, so, yeah, we're going to kind of skim through for my book book here. But then also uh, I want to do show you something like here. Here's a, from uh, Jane Austen. Friendship. See, like, let's take this out. Let me see if I have room. So like this friendship one would go with the uh, Frosty the Snowman. It's probably too big because um, Frosty is my dog symbol or my friend symbol. So I have in the back. I was really smart. Sometimes I can be smart and I have a list of all of the symbols that associate to a Lenormand symbol because that makes charm casting really easy um, and what I'm using for it. So in this case, the dog is frosty on page 42. So that way I can find it. So let's see. This is about friendship. How big is it? We can always trim it down. Let's get a pair of scissors, but I think it's so pretty as it is. So I'm going to cut it out. There's nothing on the back, obviously, because it's a sticker. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out first. I won't do this for all of them, but I think just because I'm trying to decide if I need to make it smaller. Okay. So, yeah, see, no matter how I pull this one out, it is going to be a little bit much. So I'm going to first just chop it with a little bit of the border. And then I might just chop it totally to the center. Again, not being super precious here. This book for me is not about preciousness. It is about just kind of collage free association to the topic of the charm, which for the dog charm, or in this case, Frosty the Snowman, is about trust and friendship. And the quote here is, friendship is certainly the finest balm for the pangs of disappointed love. Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Um, so there, now I can kind of squeeze that in there. And just stick it on there. And then I'll put quotes, other quotes written in hand. Again, messy. Uh, I'm not trying to make this perfect, beautiful thing. Okay, I'm trying to get the sticker back off. I'm just trying to have associations to the different key, key uh, what they mean when it comes up in a reading. So there's that. Maybe more vowels. That's what I'm thinking too, Outbox. I think it needs more vowels. Ooh, should we put this red shoe onto the ruby slippers? Yes, we should. 
Yes, we should. <laughs> that is a Ruby Slippers is my stork, which is on page 12. I'm going to draw the each one. I'm drawing the actual charm, but we definitely need to just stick a little ruby slipper there. <laughs> so that's basically that's just randomly pull um, anything that reminds me of something to stick it there. But let's do a um, oh my goodness, look at if, if, if whoever watched the uh, video uh, walkthrough of. The Shaman's Dream Oracle. Let me pull the card that's right here. Because I pulled it out of the deck. Uh, <laughs> here is a card that I pulled out of my Shaman's Dream Oracle. Yeah, we won't even go there. But look at look at that little guy. <laughs> He's cuter, though. I have to say, I if he was on here, I might like it a little bit better. <laughs> Too funny. Okay. Sorry. Randomly got sidetracked. I actually do have a cat. Uh, my 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 uh, fox is the cat, I believe. Let's see. Fox is a cat on page 57. So we can stick. I haven't put a book yet up for that. Look at all the little, little cats knitting over here. Um, here's just a pretty cat. Let's just take this pretty cat. Oh, I know. I can't, I can't, I can't with it. Okay, let's just stick the cat down here. Anyways, you can see where this is leading, right? Lots of, I do love these big ones here. Apple. Do we have a poisonous apple? We should. Do I have an apple? No, this looks like an apple, but it is a heart. Um, a fairy tale book should have an apple, shouldn't I? I need to start looking for an apple. Let me make sure I don't, I don't think I have an apple. That would be pretty cool for a poisonous apple. What do I have for the um, mice? Poison. Oh, we could put that onto the poison one. Oh, I have the, I have right now, I think the, the poison um, symbol. Ooh, we should put an apple on this page for the poisonous apple. I might look for an apple charm for that instead of the skull and crossbones. <laughs> All right, we, I'm going to try not to get so sidetracked. What I was looking for were these, but I need to find a better one. Um, uh let's see what i want to find oh look at that that is so beautiful can we stick that on the front page look at how pretty that is that is gorgeous wisdom how much better to get wisdom than gold that's a good one so there are some that are these big full-size page stickers that i was kind of thinking as using as a backdrop um, Life is for the Living, Note in Music by Langston Hughes. Look at this. Like that has to go on a ship one. Or look at that one for the ship. So cute. Um, I saw a hot air balloon here somewhere as well that I want to put on to my um, hot air balloon one. But anyways, sorry folks, I'm getting, oh see, look at, even the stains of her grief became her rain, became her as raindrops do the beaten rose. So that one could go into my thorn and rose one, uh, page 17. So that is, I have a, a pokey rony, uh, ro po thorny rose that is about beauty and pain duality it's a caution but look at how pretty that is but it's so big let me see okay so let's cough the blue even though it's really pretty i should have cut this out like i did the other one do as i say not as i do right if you're somebody who needs to be super precise, you can use like your slide cutters and stuff. 
Again, I'm working very hard to make this not be super precise because otherwise it won't get done. It will just sit there and not get filled up. Can I get this in here? Oh, without covering that up. No, I gotta go a little bit thinner. Let's try. Let's see. Can we now? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Um, the shadow side of Frosty is his friendship can melt away suddenly. <laughs> yes, he does not have the lasting friendship. Okay, we're just going to get brutal here. Come on now. Come on now. I can see. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Now I got all the sticky stuff laying here. Not good. Not good. Sorry. I I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but we're just playing. <laughs> we're just playing. We're just playing here. Okay. What I'm looking for, I'm getting sidetracked as I'm looking for it. I am looking for... A specific page. Look, I like that. It's awesome for cardamancy. Um, that would be really pretty on this secret fan one. What page was the fan? I'm not afraid of storms, for I'm learning to sail my ship. Why do these have to be so big? Why do these have to be so big? Because the ship, I love these. Okay. Um, where is the ship? Up here at 3, 14. Well, we don't have, we have the Princess Bride because he is the dread, uh, Pirate captain. Ah, uh, how can well we've got a lot of room. Let's see. How can we um okay, let's cut it. <laughs> let's cut it. <laughs> What's everybody doing? People are like, you're weird. You are weird doing this this video. But you know, it's fun for me. Okay, how can we cut this so that it fits in here? Is there a way to take a picture with the ivy? Like, uh, that's a good, you know, that's a good, I could have done that with, I thought of doing that with all the book covers, but because I have so many of them, I ended up, you know, putting a bunch on a piece of paper and just printing it and sticking it out there. Um, where's the ship? Where did we see the ship? 14, did we say? Yes. Ooh, we could get it on, but you have to have we have to have room for quotes too, though. But this is a quote. Oh, I just want to stick this whole one on here. It's my book, right? I can do whatever I want. I can always stick little things and overlap it too. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to cover up the title of the book, though. So maybe if we just slice this. I have an idea. Let's slice like this. And then what I'm going to do is stick it right here. And then I'm going to stick this on the other side of the page. Bam. <laughs> but again, I can stick like uh, quotes and stuff uh, and overlap some of it as well. 
Like I would want something to go right here because I don't like that little gap. There we go. I don't know why these coats have to be so big. You could leave the paper on the back and tip them in. True, 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 true. Good. That's a good point too. Look at the fish. We need to put those in the fish card. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're good. Well, this is what I planned on doing, so it's okay. Where is our fish card? Our fish is on page 34. It's a mermaid, but we. I like that there are also some of the nods to what the original Lenore. I, I just like this particular fish, so we're gonna we're gonna stick that over here because I feel like it goes with the color of the book. <laughs> Okay, what's the project? So the project is, sorry for you, if you're like wondering what's going on, I have a fairy tale charm set uh, used for charm casting. Shake it up, cast it. I'll, I'll cast on it when we're done playing around for a little bit. And so I've made a, a little guidebook where I'm associating each one of the charms to a book. So my stars card is associated with strands of starlight. Uh, I have... Uh, my dragon is associated with song in the silence and I have quotes. My heart is associated with Tarzan because I learned about true love through the Tarzan books. And I love the movie Tarzan, um, the tin soldier for the ballerina, the Grimm's fairy tale for the book. And I'm just really sticking quotes randomly, uh, books, pictures of the books they're associated with. And then I got a book yesterday of stickers. And so I'm using that to just collage in quotes and books and stickers just to fill out this um, guidebook for my charm casting set. So that's, that is the end. We're also going to, I also want to make an alphabet, uh, car, which we're going to get to in a second. I just got sidetracked looking at the stickers and finding things that I want to use in my guidebook. So I got sidetracked. Look at like that dragon can go on my dragon page. Exactly like this, like I'm getting sidetracked. And we're seeing what I want to stick into my sticker book. Page four. Ooh, I don't have much room. I don't want to cover I could stick it on. But I'm doing like a little sketch of the actual charm. So I don't think this is going to work. Is there any? Nope. Because I really like my quotes. So that one I filled up too much with quotes. Unless I stick it over the figure. I, I might do that. Am I, am I really married? Okay, let's think, folks. Am I really married to sketching out the charm? I mean, I've done it for quite a lot of them, but I can erase it. I mean, I know that this is, I really like this one. <laughs> Look. It's my, it's my book. I can do whatever I want, right? That is the truth. Because I can always sketch it smaller over here. But yeah, that's what we're doing is we're just chit-chatting. We've talked about planners. We've talked um, about <laughs> stickers, apparently. Okay, what I want to find. So let's pause what I'm doing. So what I want to find is there are some of the pages like this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So some of the pages are full pages like this. So what my thinking is, can I just, oh, so that's got backing on it. That sucks. Mm. All right, let's do this. So what I'm thinking with these, let me see how these pull up. Is it the whole page or? Oh, no. Oh, no, there's shapes in it. What shapes? Are, okay, I'm going to pull this up. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at that, folks. Okay, let's just pull this up. I didn't know that. Okay. I don't, it's not my idea. Okay, where is this supposed to go? But that is really cool. Okay, let's. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, I feel like that's a waste of the sticker paper, but those are pretty cool. Let's uh, pull this out. Obviously, if I would have known that, I would have done it differently, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I thought I could use those. Is, that, is this the same for this too? But you can't see it until you pull it off. That's really cool though. We got to use some of those. Let's use the, the bird for the swallow. Um, let me look here for the page 56. That's really cool. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. I could have if I would have known what it was doing. That was definitely, uh, I would have done things differently. And let's use that cat because I love that cat. That's really cool. Could I fit that on the wolf? Page 31. That wolf is really cool too. Mm, I wish it was the other way. I wish I hadn't already stuck that down. Mm. So I'm going to be, okay. Okay. Everybody watch while I destroy this gorgeous sticker. Okay. I mean, we know it's Jack London. I can, I can write that elsewhere. That's pretty cool. Even though it's probably a dog, not a wolf. <laughs> But see, then I would make a quote and I would write the quote like around the wolf. That's pretty cool. I am a fan of that, but I just didn't know that's what it was. Let's go back to the fox, page 57. So I like this a little. I don't want to waste these. They're so cute. Sorry. <laughs> it's totally, totally sidetracked by the the not expected some of them are because i have seen i have seen some of them let's let's find another page let's peel this up a little bit but we'll be more careful and when i mean we i mean me because obviously i wasn't careful i'm gonna just peel it enough to see Nope, that's got a shape too. That's got a shape right there. I wish they at least gave you enough to see what the shape was. Oh, look, it's a person reading a book. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do with that. We're just going to put that back down. <laughs> All right, we're going to, oh, 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 I'm losing, I'm, I'm touching things and losing things. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to save the remnants because I can't see what it is, Miss L. Look at that one's got to go somewhere. So pretty. Okay, so let me, let me just quickly, I thought maybe it was the other book. One, oh, look at, oh, Dracula. Listen to them, the children of the night, what music they make. Oh, that's not going to fit on a vampire. That is not going to fit on our vampire, which is our coffin. 32. See, why did they have to make them so big? Ending and rebirth. I mean, we could stick that in the middle. Let's cut it out. Why did they have to make the book one so ginormous? Let's, that one doesn't have anything on the back. So we could definitely cut this smaller, but I don't want to lose much of it. I really love it. Mm. 
What to do, folks? What to do? Um, okay. So let's cut it. So it goes to right here. That's the size. I don't know. I'm considering just sticking that on there. I can, right? Because I can put quotes around it. <laughs> Look, it's got the book, Dracula by Bram Stoker, which was going to go in this one. So it's fine. It's fine. Am I stressing anybody out? Um, this is a book of stickers, Raven Song. It is a book of. Oh no, one of my charms just went flying. Sasquatch. Sasquatch got, just went flying. There we go. It is the sticker book, uh, the bibliophilia version of it. What I'm trying to find, okay, we're, I'm getting really sidetracked. I would like somebody to tell me what this is. I've already looked at this. What is this? It is a book. And this says ink, but I can't for the life of me read what this is. The something ink. The... I don't know. Does anybody know what that says? I know. I'm like, well, look at the spider. I have a web one. I don't know. If anybody looked at that and can tell me what that says, I would be really excited to see that. Where is my web? My web is the... Where's my web charm? I must have used my web. I thought I used for getting trapped. Snake 23. Um, I have Charlotte's web and I have Wilbur. So I put Charlotte's web between the two of them. So Wilbur's on either side. But uh, that's, I think that I decide this is complicated we decided she is complicated um charlotte is uh very much trying to make a safe place for her children she is trying to save wilbur but she is also going to die and so there is the shadow side of the snake for sure we'll go there <laughs> history of ink is that what it says oh Okay, I like that. That could go on the letter page. The history of ink. I can't even. So that this that Y that throws me off. I feel like that doesn't even look like a Y. I, I liked that, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're trying to find. I think it was in the other book that wasn't the bibliophile. It had a lot more of these types of things where there weren't shapes behind it. Apparently, there's shapes behind some. Look, look at how pretty that is. Let's just peel this up and see. I mean, the shapes are cool, but it's kind of like there's no way to see that, that these little circles are going to come out, which are really cool. Let me just see what else. Yep, that middle thing is going to come out. But then all that prettiness is wasted. I wish I could see before peeling it up what's not there. I'm really disappointed in a little bit because I peeled a little bit to see on one of the books, and they were big sheets of color, like wallpaper sheets, and I was going to use them for the backdrop of my cars. Yeah, look. Now, this one is a big one. But, and then you have the border as well. I had an idea that has been flummoxed. Flummoxed, I say. Miss Jamie, which is the other one that you have? Look at folly or saintliness, good or evil. Jamie, do you have the one that is the regular but not the bibliophile? Are there, look at, here's the raven. 
Oh, we got to put that on the Raven one. Does anyone know how to select a portion of an image? Perhaps with last one create another. Oh, don't ask. I have to really struggle my way through that kind of stuff. So I couldn't say without doing it. Sorry, Miss Al, but maybe somebody else on here will be able to. Uh, okay, I'm going to do something different in a second. I promise. Let me just uh, put this raven on here. <laughs> Does, can you find one of the pages that looks like it's all wallpaper and see if those are all wallpaper or if those are um, the same way where there's stickers underneath it, shapes underneath it? I may be forced to get that other one as well. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's um, let us regroup here. Because I'm definitely going to get, oh, I definitely wanted, I saw this one. And I definitely wanted this one for our Kraken. Even though I know that's not a Kraken, it is a uh, an octopus. Look at there is the Hermit card in there. Uh, also, I love this playing card over here in the number section. I don't think you could even just see that. But let's grab this. This is the positive side of the Kraken because it's very smart and awesome. But it can pull you under. It can definitely draw you down. Where did I have the Kraken? The cross, 36, the weight, drawing you down, pulling you down. What page, though? 15. I have, of course, 20,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs> of course, of course. The book is called The Antiquarium Sticker Book Bibliophilia um, because uh, there's a regular one. Um, oh, there. Uh, Jamie said there are shapes out of the solid pages. Okay. All right. I just got to regroup. I got to regroup then. All right, so let's do a couple of the cards that I'm thinking about so that you can see what I mean by that. Let's put this where it belongs. In the back of here for right now with the way of weird because I need to put that in as well. All right, so my thought here, let's take a card. All right, so we're going to regroup. I got all kinds of options here. So let me grab my paper. Box of paper. My box of paper. Instead. And because I don't know, I'm either going to have to so what I want to do is at least, have, we've decided I need to have at least two, which means I need to grab another deck of this. Um, oh, look at it. I know not all that may be coming, but be it what it will, I'll go to it laughing. Moby Dick! You know, Moby Dick is one of those that, do I have a whale one? Moby Dick is one of those books that I really dreaded to read because I thought it was going to be just a slog through, to be honest. I thought, you know, people had always said, like, it's one of those books you have to read, but it's like, you know, you're going to have to just make your way through it. But Moby Dick is amazing. I loved every minute of reading Moby Dick. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, and you know, sad and powerful and, you know, the highs and lows of, of humanity and all of that there. Um, I loved it. Where could that go? Do I have a whale? I should have a whale charm. I should have a whale charm for Pinocchio, for Jonah and the Whale, for Moby Dick. So I need to find a whale charm. So I need a, I need a sticker. Yay, Elle figured it out. So good. I need to find a whale charm. I'm surprised I don't have one, to be honest. Whale charm. Pinocchio. 
uh, Moby Dick, Jonah. Okay, sorry, I had to make note of that because I wanted, I definitely want to use that. Well, here we can put a page for whale, and then I just have to find a whale charm. Well, let's go over here because I'm determined. I'm sure I can find a whale charm. I feel like that shouldn't be that hard, right? Right, folks. I collected all of my, I'm a pen person. These are all of my small, like fine tip pens and markers because that way <clears throat> um, I can just write with different colors, all the different quotes um, on it. So I have those all collected in a bucket sitting out here. Okay, so there's the fan. So we're gonna put whale. And I'm going to find a whale charm. Depths. Power. Obsession. <laughs> for the keywords. Um, I know I just have to find a whale charm <clears throat> for my charm casting set. <laughs> But we're going to stick this little sticker on here. Not a little sticker, a giant sticker. Why, folks? You know, this one I think I'm actually going to cut in just the inner quote part. Look away, people who loved what I just cut off. Ooh, I might leave that side almost like the side scroll of a book, or like of an illuminated book. Let's do that. Look at the W page. Okay, I'll look at the W page. One second. Well, I need to make room for Moby Dick, or the book ones. Let's just stick that there. Okay. Let's look at the W. Okay, oh, I need that whale too, but let's see what's in the W. But maybe there's more whales back there. W. Oh, look at Look. Oh, good, good find, Miss Jamie. Look at that one too. Sorry, folks. Look, I love this bottle here too. Look, I love this. Like this, I really almost want to stick. I wish it was see-through because I'd probably stick it on the front of that. Um, but I love that. Okay. I love this too. I want to use this. I would like to stick this here too. I wish it didn't have like the, I wonder, let's look. How would that look? See, I really want to use this maybe on the back of the book. Oh yeah, that would be cute. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, if all else fails and you can't find a whale charm, you can find a white sea charm. There, there we go. There we go. I feel like I should be able to find. I'm looking for a seal because I want a selkie charm. And I'm looking for a whale. Okay, let me go to back to the whale. Sorry, Miss Jamie, I got sidetracked. Uh Jonathan says, it's going to be a whale season here in Hawaii. I just want, I really do want to just go visit Mr. Jonathan. Can I come and sleep on your couch and see the whales? Um, <laughs> okay, where's our whale page? Ah, uh, look at that. I want to cover up Moby Dick because uh, I want to put it like right here, but I don't want to cover up the... Where's the edge of the page? Sorry, it's kind of dark in here right now, so it's hard. Oop. Perfect catch, Miss Jamie. <laughs> okay, I know I said I was going to change, but I, I got sidetracked by the whale. Okay. 
So what are we going to do here? Like, look at how pretty. Look at this one, too. It's so pretty. I love this. Like, there's a ton of them that I'm going to stick in my book. But I will obviously do it. Look at the letter, Candon off the letter. Um, that would be good for the Kipper letter, Miss Jamie. But um, look at the Red Riding Hood riding a pig. Um, okay, so obviously I'm going to go through this and stick every sticker I want to stick into that, my my book. Because that was, so I had two purposes for buying this sticker book. One of them was for my Fairy Tale Oracle Cot Guide book. Fairy tale charm casting art guidebook to collage this up, and uh, so that was one of the purposes for getting this. But then the other was to do an alphabet thing. But now I can't do what I thought I could do. So let me try something. So if I just take a background, let's look at. Let's look at the A's. I mean, in the end, it doesn't much matter with the backgrounds, but I don't want them to be I like that there. So what I could do is stick the cards, and I could get like four of them and then on here and then cut them out. So let's just try it. We're testing the waters here. Hello, Astro Lady. This is like, I don't know what's happening in this chat. It's just, it's a play with me, which is just let's play, right? So I'm thinking if we stuck the card to the paper, Let's at least do two. That way, um, although I use my scraps for paper projects. Let's just. Stick another one in here. Like that. I got sticky stuff all over me now. Um. <laughs> Hello, everybody who is in coming in and wondering what's happening. So then we can cut this out, find the edge of the card. Okay. I'll get my corner rounder here in a second, but I'll wait till we um, get stickers on it. I'm making an alphabet oracle card on this one. I do have another project going where I'm making paper crafting oracle cards. My niece and I were doing it together. But then she moved, and so it kind of got stalled. Okay, so that would give us the background. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, why? Is... I didn't look closely. That's okay. We'll 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 fill it up here. Um. Um. Let's see. It looks like I can still kind of move it. There we go. And I, I shouldn't keep trimming this until usually the best thing to do is get everything stuck on there that you want and then trip, trim it from the back. Um, okay, so here's our A's. I don't know that I really want, like, you know, A is for apples, so to speak. Like, I really love that one. Is it too big? I could just do that big, beautiful A right there. How many, okay, we have to make a consensus. I need your help, folks. Can this fit? Well, we can always trim off what is excess. Um, I really need to know how many A's should we make? How many A's should we make? Or should I just do one and then do sounds? Is the, is the question of the hour. Oh, did you? Okay. 
I sent you a letter of frequency. Where did you send it to me on? I was inspired by your sticker oracle. And oh, Jamie, oh, Jamie's Jamie's sticker. Yeah, <laughs> Jamie, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're talking about Jamie's uh, sticker oracle. She is an awesome. Let me see where I, I'm going to try to see where Miss Jamie sent it to me. Here we go. Gerald sent that chart to me and asked to forward it. Okay, okay, let me click this. So let's see. Oh, frequency of the letters of the alphabet. Um, how the most Oh, but that's a lot per one, huh? X's, yeah, like X, Y, and Z probably need only one. I think what I'm going to do is start by making, thank you, Gerald. I'm going to look at this more closely and see how that can be helpful. I think, obviously, ease, um, and again, I don't need it to spell the word perfectly. I'm not sure what I'm expecting to get out of this. Um, but or if I want to think of it more as a rune deck, but the alpha copy, the rune deck, runes are alphabets, right? Um, and so a, an equivalent of that and see where it goes. So I'm kind of liking the idea of doing, you know, one of each, doing some of the like TH sounds and things like that to more sound based. I'm not sure. So let, I guess since I'm not sure, I'm going to start with just doing one of each of the letters. Well, that goes together. Um, one of each of the letter cards and then deciding where to add from there, maybe. Let me get my corner rounder, although I think I might need this one. Let's see. Yeah, Jay, I was going to say, I haven't done one. I, the reason I'm doing this is because of Miss Jamie's fault. So I have a quarter one. This little pointy one looks like it might be good. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're just testing the waters here. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's just keep going with the alphabet and then we'll see where we're at. Um, I love this. I definitely want to use this somewhere. Uh, okay, here's our B's. What is my, oh, look, see, we have to use that B. But I don't want to use the same background. Okay, so we've got another one of these. I don't care if the backgrounds repeat some, but I don't want to use the same one right in a row. Um, so let's grab a, oh, I kind of like this one. Let's grab a new background. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's like, fault me all you want. She's like, I can take it. I am a big girl. No worries about that. Um, I will say that this the the, the shiny cardstock doesn't particularly love this um, car, uh, doesn't love playing cards, but it sticks. I have used this. I have another Oracle deck and it does end up sticking. So let's do that. Cut to saw. I also want to do the numbers too. So the alphabet and the numbers. I know Miss Jamie started this. I she made a sticker. She she's made a sticker deck and on like a just a random sticker deck, and then she also made a or she's also working on a Kipper project with stickers. And that's. That's where this is getting a little bit crazy inspired from. Okay. Oh, there's that balloon. I wanted that balloon. Sorry. Sorry, folks. I don't know why I'm apologizing. Really, nobody's, in, I'm sure, watching this that isn't liking paper and stickers. So um, let's see. My uh, balloon is the, uh, no, I changed it. And my balloon is a tower getting a better perspective. 
So that is Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne right there. And I wanted to use this balloon. Of course, because that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> what if I can find my balloon charm? Let's see. Can I find my balloon charm in this mess? Probably not because they're all scrunched together and I don't really have room to spread them out. All right, here it is. Here is my little hot air balloon and the little basket moves on it. Oh, you can't see that very well, but the hot air balloon bottom part jiggles and moves um, there. And it says, and so the adventure begins. <laughs> um, okay. So there we go. Hot air balloon into the book. But I definitely want to use this bee because it's gorgeous. Oh, it's so fat. Let's see. See, I have to see. Okay, does it fit in general? Yes. So let's center-ish. Again, I'm not being precious. If you're going to do projects like these, I really do feel like you have to let your preciousness, you know, go like the perfection part of ourselves. I feel like, well, for me, I guess for my, speak for yourself, Kelly. For myself, I have to let go of being super precious about and everything being perfect because it will kind of stall the fun of it, in my opinion. Now, some people, you know, love that, I guess, and enjoy the perfection part. Uh, for me, it just would stall me from doing anything whatsoever. Um, and so I have to let go of that, you know, being precious about things. Just stick it on there and make it work. Like, it's, in the end, it will be fine. All right, let go. Oh, see, I love that C. Okay, okay. This is getting easy to figure out. Which one do we want to cut that? That's for my book. All right. Oh, dear. Are any of these backs ones we want to use for that? No. So I'm just kind of, I should be using my, oh, I like this. I don't know if I like it for this. Kind of do. Oh, yes, that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I should probably be, you know what? Let me grab something real quick. I have another box of paper that are smaller pieces. So I should probably be having this out here um, as well and try to look here first because they're already smaller pieces. But I really want to use this. So in this case, uh, where do I want that to be? I think in this faded corner. Divination plays my friends. One more I know. Like what what else? It does nothing better than that. Nothing better. Jamie, what are you using to stick your backgrounds on it? This does not like this very much. I may have to change that up to something. Maybe Mod Podge? I don't know if that would stick it on there or not. I'm kind of What I'm trying to do is keep, kind of scooch it to the corners. That way I only have to trim it down on two sides is what I'm doing. Jonathan, Jonathan says, oh, yeah, my perfectionism gets in my way sometimes. Yep. Oh, that's good. So it's kind of, you found a way out of it. That makes sense. My sticker oracle was complete in nine hours of work. Was that pretty much nine hours straight? You just like powered through it? Because that's uh, what happens to me is I just get a bee in my bonnet about something. And I just stay up all night and get it done. Um, versus just enjoying it. I will say... That I haven't done that with my this little guidebook. I kind of pick it up when I'm in between things and I have something to do, and I'll you know Google and grab an extra little quote. I've been a lot more just kind of letting it come as it may, um, which I've enjoyed um, a bit. 
Okay. That is that. I had thought about, you know, putting like actual like things that go with C on it, but I don't really want to do that because I'm just kind of getting a feel for how I would utilize this. So I don't want to associate anything like just by the sound like that. Um, so I really want to keep them just the letters. Look at how pretty those are. Look at how pretty those are. Okay. All right. What time is it? One o'clock, 11, 12. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've been on here two hours. Okay, I should probably wrap this up, but let's do a couple more. <laughs> let's do a couple more. Oh, I don't love any of the Ds. I, I guess this one I like the most. I like this, but I don't know that it's going to have something in it and I don't want to do that. I might stack actually two with this one. All right, but let's get a piece of paper that kind of goes with it. I kind of like this nappy paper with that kind of antique gold. All right. Grab another card. <laughs> 7.05. You're still lounging in bed. Um, yes, it is not 7.05 here. I need to probably do some other things. But been a wonderful way to start the day all right let's see i want it on this side i don't think this one is going to move as much because it's thinner paper well i wanted to show you something else real quick before i go though Hold on. i'm probably going to do a couple more of these i'm not going to lie um i wanted to show you something that's worked really well with this fairy tale charm set um, let me cut this out because clearly I can't talk and cut at the same time. All right. Oops. I'll probably, I think Jamie Mod Podge her stickers on. Um, I have a Oracle deck that I did similar to this with bigger cards. Um, that I'm working on and I haven't had an issue with it. I've been able to shuffle it, but so I'm not sure what I'm going to do either. Maybe put like, um, it's lunchtime for Cheryl. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't really love any of these D's. Can I just say that? Have I said that? All right. I'm going to take this one, but I think I want to think this through. I think I might overlap the screen or this one on here. So I think I'm going to kind of stick that up in there um, and stick this one on. So I'm not a big, I'm not loving any of these D's like I've loved the other ones, but that's okay. That's okay. They're all going to have different personalities and D is a hard sound, right? A D, D sound. Um, so it makes sense that it's less flowy. Okay. Um, let's do let's do one or two more. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't looked through all of your videos, but do you have some talking about using playing cards for divination? Yes. I, I, I have to think. Uh, I feel like I have some playing card divination. I have a playing card divination class that is coming up. On, I, you have to look at my website, um, the truth and story .com slash classes. Um, it's October, not next week, which is a, a workshop, but the week after that, a playing card class is start four week playing cards is stick, uh, coming up. Oh, there are letters in both, so I'm getting sidetracked. That is specifically on how I read um, playing card divination or how I do that. But I would guess that I have a video. So I think I have it on yes and no, uh, how to read yes and no. Um, but I don't. I can't tell you what I have on on YouTube for that at the moment. I guess if we're well, here, let me. I can do it easier actually than you can. Let me go to YouTube. Let me go. 
to the studio. Let me go to content. I know I have a yes and no video. Playing cards. Your classes, open portal playing cards. That's an actual system. Playing with playing cards, but I don't know if that has anything to do about reading or just showing playing cards. I'm not sure. Show all. Sorry, let me try to get you a link at least. I have um, our so it looks like it's mostly in my like. Um, I don't know how to get the links for these. Uh, get shareable link. Like, for example, this is a walkthrough. Uh, but then it talks about playing using playing card divination at the end of it. Um, and same thing with this one. It's like how to use uh, get shareable link. This one has like how to you get yes and no readings with playing cards. And that there's one other I want to link for you. I don't know about this one, so I'm just going to send you the link and you can look at it. That one is playing with playing cards, but I don't know if it's just playing with decks or if it's about divination. Um, and then if you go to and story.com slash classes um you can see when the, there's a four-week class coming up so hopefully that helps a little bit sorry they're kind of it's kind of scattered um the regular so gerald and cheryl says that the regular one also has letters Okay, yeah, so this one I think had more letters maybe. I don't know. There was some reason. I think I really leaned on this one because I liked the book quotes too. Um, okay, so we're on E. I love this, but it does. I don't really want to have, oh, I don't love the E's either. Okay. I don't absolutely love any of these E's. I like this one, but I didn't really want there to be uh, references to things. This is cute over here. Oh, you can't even see that one. Can you see that one? Yes. I like that one. I wish that was bigger. I really like this one. Well, you know what I could do maybe? Let's see. Let's stick a backing on it. Because what I could do is stick this one on it and then stick this one in the middle of it. Mm. I might just ignore because that doesn't even like, what is that E? Is that an egret? I don't even know what that is. That that doesn't like say to me any particular, um, it doesn't associate anything with ease too much to me. Um, so I could be able to, oh, that is so pretty. I don't know. We'll use that for something. These are my smaller pieces of paper. I'm just seeing if anything jumps out for the ease. Birches. I kind of like that. It's a nice little scrap of something. Sorry, I'm getting way too much stuff everywhere. I'm not sure what to do with the ease. All right, we're going to collage some of these together. Uh, I love those book quotes. I'm going to pick, yeah, I like that. I like the quotes in this, the book quotes. There's quite a few of them. So that was another reason why I ended up landing on this one. I really almost got both the antiquarian and this, but I'm like, do I really, do I really need both? <laughs> Miss Jamie says yes. Oh, you sent a pic. Okay, let me. Right, let me stick this on here and then I will come and look what you're showing me. Jamie sent me a picture. Oh, see, I like that one. Um, 
That's from the regular antiquarium. I like that bottom left one. I know, but then I'm like, okay, I've got all of these letters. Do I need a whole nother book of stickers just to get some more letters? I probably just need to make these work, be fiscally responsible. Most people would say having any giant book full of stickers is not fiscally responsible, but you know, crafting it soothes the soul. <laughs> David's like, of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. Um, okay. I think, oh, what am I going to do, folks? Do we break the rules? So, you know, can we scoot, zoom out a little bit more? Let's, there we go. Look at this mess. Do we have a mess or do we have a mess? Uh, I really like this little E. I think what I'm going to do is take this E. And stick it in the middle. Ish. I know it is so true. Um, Yana says, uh, I have a question. If the Lenormand has only 36 cards and a playing card uses a divination, do you remove? No. So playing cards, I use the full 52 card deck. If you're German, you would use a smaller deck. Um, Lenormand is based off of a German playing card deck in which it doesn't have certain of the numbers in the regular playing card deck, right? And so that's why it's 36 cards. There are 32 card decks, there are 36 card decks, there are 40 card decks, there are 50 card decks, there are 52 card decks. There's different, you know, different um, time periods and different cultures um, uh, have uh, different places have different size playing card decks. Um, I do playing card divination with a 52 card deck uh, fully. So um, yeah, so do, do, it would depend on your, what playing card you particularly use. Um, but I use a 52 card deck. We're gonna stick a couple E's on this one. I feel like I was going to use this one, but I feel like that's enough. Can I unstick this before it settles? I've often found, and I know you think, oh, this means it's just going to fall off easy. But usually once you let these things sit, um, I will often put a book on top of them, a heavy book on top of them. Um, that didn't, that didn't, I didn't move it at all. Um, I'm going to stick it up a little bit further. Um, they end up sticking pretty good. You know, I have a whole, like, um, for example, this is a test Kipper deck before I got it printed out on uh, Make Playing Cards. And these are stickers that are stuck onto the playing cards. Once these are done, these have been shuffled, 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 and the stickers really don't come up. Uh, off of them on this particular kind of sticker. So usually what I'll do is I'll stack the cards and put a heavy book on top of it. Um, but I may end up having to coat this with something or put um, like, um, I was going to say Visqueen, but put like um, <sighs> clear sticker stuff on top of it. What did Cheryl say? <laughs> I'm scrolling up. I call it my art attack. <laughs> We crafters call it creative chaos for sure. Uh, Jonathan's is ordered chaos. So, you know, it depends on your table. Cheryl's is art attack. Mine is just mess. Just mess. Okay. So we have our E. Let's see what F's we get. That's my last name. Oh, see, I really want to use that. This is beautiful. I do love that page. Okay. This is really pretty. Obviously, as we've come to find out, there are, oh, let's see what this one is. Nope, this is one. Nope, that middle part comes out. <sighs> I'm really disappointed in that. Oh, look at that F right there. Right there. We're going to use with something bold or not because that's. Just kind of, well, 
Ooh, I kind of like that. Will that fit? Let's see. Let's see if that will fit. Mine includes the F word in a mess. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Okay, I, want, I do want to show you something, so I'll stop after this. I've got, I've got to get some other work done today. Now, this does not feel like it's doing... I'm going to have to... I'm probably going to have to come up with something else because this does not like these shiny cards. Jamie, did you say what you use to stick any paper? I guess I just need to go slower. Um... Which is, uh, thank you. My grandma taught me to divinate on playing cards, but since I'm Russian, we only had the 36 like the German. I didn't know that. Thank you, Yana, for pointing that out. I didn't know that Russians did the 36 cards as well. That's really cool, actually. Uh, <laughs> sure, can't use the F-bomb. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I feel your pain. Sometimes... We need, I, I, you know, there was a period of time when my son was, um, his health was going downhill um, and we were going to do a surgery that didn't end up working. But anyways, um, we had to drive to Cincinnati, which I despise Cincinnati so much. I have so much trauma, trauma from Cincinnati and that is not using the word lightly. Like I literally do have trauma from Cincinnati, but there was a period of about a year in which we were having to travel to Cincinnati every week and um i uh had an older vehicle as i do now and it was always you know i had a, two children in the car and usually my mother but this time my mother wasn't there so i had two teenagers but we're in a car one of my son is on oxygen and has a pick line and all this other stuff and it was constantly dying on the expressway around cincinnati it was um dying on the i'm sorry i kind of got this stuck where i don't really i want it to go down but it won't we're gonna let it be we're gonna let it be what it is um, it was dying on the expressway which is really awful in cincinnati sorry sorry miss I'm not going to out where you live. I guess I won't say that. Um, horrible, horrible. And in parking garages, like it was just always dying when we were trying to get to the hospital. It was so frustrating because life was already wretched at the moment. And so I promise there's a funny part to this. I know it sounds really heavy, but it's funny. Um, anyways, I think this was the parking um, garage incident in which we're trying to get up into the parking garage and it died. Not not like in the parking spot, but it died kind of on the ramp going up, not in a parking space. And, you know, it was a tight corner to get turn and it died on the, in the parking garage. And so let's just say there were some words that were flying and my son, who was a bit of a prude, my son, I love you, my, my son of my heart, but he was a bit of a prude when it came to, um, curse words. I was always trying to uh, get him to, to cuss because I thought it was hilarious and just to annoy him because parents are allowed to annoy their children. And when he was a, a, a teenager, or he was he would have been 18 at 19 at that time. Anyways, um, I, I had lost it. I was just over it. And it was definitely cussing a lot. And so my son, the the cussing crude may his soul rest in and and we're the great beyond he was texting my mother i'm obviously a grown ass woman who but who had had it and he was texting my mother that i was cussing he was he was he had running commentary to my mother that she showed me later about the kind of words that i was saying in the midst of that in the midst of that a uh, horrible place that I was at. It was so hilarious. I I really I think he got I yelled at him for for texting my mother when I was in the midst of a horrible situation. But it was pretty funny. It's a good it was a good memory. It was a good memory even though it was super super stressful. Uh, random story time. Random story time. Oh, Miss Jamie sent me another picture. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I like that. Uh, oh, I like that one. Jamie said, this is the antiquarian without the bibliophile on it. It's hard to see because things are bright. Our phones are bad with that, but I love that one up there. <sighs> I may end up, although I do like this one, I may end up having to get that one. Okay, so let's see where we're at. So we have an A, we have a B, we have a D, oops, we have a C, we have a D, we have an E. These two are not my favorite, but they're not going to be in order like this. Obviously, once you shuffle them, and we have an F. I wish I'd known Miss De Deirdre when I was going to Cincinnati all those times because <laughs> I could have called her and said, come and get me. <laughs> come and get us out of it. Um, so there we go. Okay, so you get the feel of what we're doing here. We got to wrap this up. Let's just, let, we have to wrap this up. Let's just look at the G's. Oh, I'm going to have to probably break my, I love that G. That doesn't really say anything. I'm going to definitely, let's do that one. I'm sorry. I do really have to do other things. I do have to accomplish other things today. Uh, but we're going to do a G. I use that one. I don't really feel like I have to have a different um, paper every single time, but oh, I like that. Oh, I like that one. Maybe too dark for this, but I'm going to try it. I know I could have called for backup. Because that was the worst of it. You know, all my family, like everybody's up here. My ex was obviously up at home working. And that was about three and a half hours from where I live. So, um, yeah, that was that was what was so stressful about breaking down. It's not like I had, I didn't know anybody in Cincinnati. Okay, this is, this, I got to think of another option, folks. I do have regular glues, but I don't really like using regular glue. Aren't there? I think there's like sticky ones where you can like if you don't have to roll it like this. Just need to go for slow. There we go. I just gotta be more patient. I'm not a patient person. Patience has never been one of my virtues. I know <laughs> I'm having fun, except for I'm starting to get layers of stick on me. Okay, how do I want this to be? I think right in this bottom corner. Okay. My kids stay trying to snitch to their grand. Yeah. Kids stay trying. To my son says to my mom, let me tell you about your daughter. Snitch. Yeah, that's exactly how my son was. He was definitely a snitch to my mom, uh, which is hilarious. Like, I am a grown woman. Uh she can no longer put soap in my mouth for cussing, <laughs> but it was, it was cute. It was a kind of a running. He was just like, Oh, she's losing it. She's saying this one. Now it was, as a whole running commentary about where, what level of losing it I was at based at the words, based on the words that were coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Which is pretty fun. I probably should not be trying to get it so close to the edge and just stick it on and cut around it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Because it's really easy to cut around cards um, because you've got that guideline to follow. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. How cute is that? How cute is that? Oh, okay. How fun is this going to be? I mean, we pull runes. There are power. Those are just letters, right? Power letters, but letters. We pull oums, which are just letters. Um, I don't know why we don't use our alphabet in that. Let's see what H is. This is how it's going to be like eight hours later when, uh, because I keep saying, let's look at the next one. Ooh, will that fit? Will this H fit? No, I think it's going to be too fat. No, 
I think it will go on there. I like this little one too. I want to layer those two. Oh, but look at that H. Well, we also need to do a TH. Let's look real quick at the T's. Because I like that suggestion. I don't know where we're at. Q-R-S-T. Q-R-S-T. All right, let's see what T. Oh, look at that one. That would be my regular T. I kind of like that. That's really cool. What if we did, so we want, what if we did, oh, what if we did this and this for the TH? It doesn't look like a very much like a T, though. Uh, I just got the Phoenician Oracle. Interesting and interested in using it similar to runes with a Mediterranean focus. Yeah, I mean, not, there's no reason why we can't use other. I want to use this for the regular T. I like this, but could I use this with this age? Here, let's try something. That's not very T-H-E, is it? T-H? I mean, you wouldn't even know. Well, I mean, I would know because I would be using it. Could I do like that? Would that fit onto a card? Kind of. That's, yeah, I think we would know. Like, I could, I really like that one. I want to use this H because it's a little H. I can't use it for my regular H. All right, let's do that. We're, we're. <laughs> um, oh, yes. I, corner, my favorite corner. Let me, let me link to you first. I just need to reorder one. But let me show you my favorite corner rounder. I will link it to you. Because uh, I can't ever say it. It's a Japanese uh, corner round. I don't even know how. Uh, oh, I don't know how I'm going to find it again. Here it is. It is called the Kat Katamaro Pro Corner Rounder. This is my favorite. I never had any issues with it. Oh, it's got it at Prime. I am adding it to my cart. Uh, I didn't. Usually, you have to wait a while because it. Um, sorry, let's just shop whilst um, going uh, going about the business here. Uh, what's in my cart? Add to cart. I was going to save that for later. Save that for later. I always put things in my cart, but I'm actually going to order this because I have been meaning to do so uh, forever. Because this is my favorite. Okay, let me send you the link here. I've never seen it on Prime. That's why I want to grab it. Okay. So, uh, nope. It's got my, everybody uses my Prime, and so I always have to be careful because... It ends up going to my mother or just some random person. All right. I just wanted to order it before I linked it and everybody got it. Because that's what's going to happen. All right. Let's go back to it. Let's go back. Why is that going back? Um, here we go. I think I don't have to have. I'm going to try. I think I just have to have this part of it. So if somebody could click on this and tell me if it works. Uh, control B. So if somebody can click on that and see if it takes you to that. But anyways, that is my favorite uh, corner rounder. The one that I'm using right now isn't bad. Uh, this is the We Are. I think you can get this at Joanne Fabrics, maybe at Michael's as well. Um, this one's not bad. Um, do not use um, Fisker corner rounders have destroyed many a deck. Not a good one for me. But this I like. Okay, it's not as good as that Katamaro Pro when I lost it. I don't know what it's, it's the L's and the 
little people stole it because I don't know where it is. I've, it's been lost for a couple of years now. But that's my favorite one. This one is okay. Um, you can get it locally if you have like a Joann's. And I do actually like this really heavy duty. I was desperate at one point before I found that other one. This one has a quarter inch and a half inch. And this is really heavy duty for thicker decks. So I do like this. This is that same, is this the same brand? Yeah, the We Are Memory Keepers. And this was on sale. It was like a really big, I don't know how much this was originally, but it was like, I had a, they had a big sale. I thought, oh, I'm desperate. I'll try it. It hurts my hand to do a whole deck, but like for shiffer decks, this one is really good uh, for shiffer decks and thicker card stocks. But it does, I have Carpal Tunnel and it does, mess my hand up after a while but it is handy to have all right where are we at so we don't get totally distracted can i use this busy tech can we have a really busy one sure we can because it's my deck i really like the katamaru i'm sure i'm slaughtering that yeah I, it has the three different sizes on it so that's my absolute favorite and i just ordered it so it will be coming back to me Thank you. Thank you. I've got to go over to Michael's and come up with a different option than this for sticking these backgrounds on. Ah! Okay, where I want to go right here. And I'm not going to go so close this time because I'm kind of having trouble with that. So that's when you have Jamie. Yeah. So hopefully that helps whoever has somebody asked that question. And now I don't even know who, but that's my favorite. All right. Sorry, apparently, apparently I can't cut and talk at this moment. Okay. All right. So this is a TH. We have skipped ahead to the TH because I fell in love with that. Oh, you got it. Okay, Alicia. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. I don't know that this is the best idea, but you know what? The, I'm going to know it's a TH, and who is this for but for me? Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, where's the H? I don't even care about this over here. This actually looks more like a T without it. Oh, it's going to go off the edge. Okay. I don't want to cut into her. Okay, let's let's try to move it because i haven't had it stuck long or weighted it oh no this one's going to want to stick come on come on come on okay i'm going to scooch this one as far as i can to this edge actually i don't even care if that overlaps a bit because i can cut off some of that okay um okay because i had no clue how to pronounce that for sure all right so now we're gonna try i don't want to cut into that oh that is not mm. I don't want the wood, I don't want any of the H being cut off, but I don't want her being cut off either. Okay, we're going to try that. Uh, I need to get a corner rounder and start modding decks more than just edging then. Yeah, I mean, you need a good corner rounder if you are going to, um, there we go. That's pretty. And that's obvious it's a TH. Okay, I have like that one a lot. Let's see, kind of make sure I trim that off there. Oh, that's so pretty. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. Let's do the T because we don't have to work. We don't have to do any work today. Look how pretty they are. I don't love these two, but, you know, we got to have some that aren't perfect. Um, let's go where we are at the T. I want to use this T and I want to use, I saw a background that I want to use for that. Ooh, nope, that's too, nope. Let's. 
feeling like you want to use that for something, but no. Nope, that's too busy. Sorry, I'm slipping through. I had, maybe it was in the other box. I saw one that I wanted to use for that. T. Oh, that's what we got to do is go back to the H. Thank you. But we'll do this because we're here and I like that T. Um, that's what I was thinking. I have to go back to the H. Thank you. We actually got sidetracked with the H. Um, but I saw one. Ooh, I don't think this will fit. Kind of like that. Let's see if we can make that work. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. I got myself. Uh, I've got myself. I should not skip ahead. So I'll get myself out of whack. I know it really is pretty, turning out very pretty. I'm so happy with it. I'm not happy with this glue. I love these. So if you're in most paper crafting things, if you've watched any of my other rambly ones like this, I don't think anybody will watch except for the people that are here. The Tombow is my favorite of these um, rolling stickies. And it's my favorite way to stick paper to paper. It's probably not efficient or money efficient, but it is my absolute favorite. But I will say for these shiny, I, I'm going to do what Jonathan says later and um, rough up the paper, the sand, the playing card face, and that might make it stick a little bit better. But we're, we're going to keep powering through for right this minute. I'm going to do this T and then I'm going to do the H so I'm not out of whack and then we're going to stop. Can we think of any other double letters that we should do on this? So TH makes a lot of sense, but I can't, is there any other sound, double sound that we should maybe have? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but that does not mean that it's not the case. Oh, CH for cha. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you'd have to have, yeah, chain or change or anything like that. That would be, that makes sense. Let's pull this one off. Let's go. This one doesn't want to come off. There we go. Okay, so we have our T and we have our TH, but I shouldn't, I probably should have these in order so that we have our C, we have our A, we have our B, we have our C, we have our D, E, F. Uh, oh, did we skip G? Oh, this is our G. This is our C. That's a little confusing, but, you know, you will learn your deck, right? C, D, E, F, G, and then we skip to the TH because of that. Okay. Uh, okay. C, H, S, H, G, H, like for ghost, but even if it just was G, O, S, T, that would be, oh, Q, U, yeah, although, truthfully, is there any other way to have Q? That isn't Q U in just general wordages. I'm not sure. General wordage wordages is not a word, but that's okay. Look at that Q. We can't see it probably. All right, let's go back to H. Uh, I definitely think the C H. Okay, let's H I H. For the H, oh, look at that one. That kind of goes with some of the other ones we've seen, but it's not as pretty. So I think I want to do this H, and then I want to use this H with a C for the CH. Okay. <laughs> I know. Wordages is not a word. But, you know, Shakespeare made up many words. And if Shakespeare can make up words, I can make up words. You know, it's it's all fair in love and wordages. <laughs> Ooh, can I do that? Is that too much? I don't think this deck can be too much. Do you think? 
my thought is is this deck can't really be too much like it can be over the top like look at how those are so i feel like it cannot be too much well kabbalah but i don't necessarily think kabbalah is going to come up in a divination for me uh i'm thinking yeah oh this is just so unhappy come on just get through a couple more cards here you're, you're gonna be all right i promise it will be just fine <laughs> like just last a little bit longer just a little bit longer message yana says what am i going to do with this i you know just, i'm just going to make it no <laughs> we're just going to make it that's what we're the joy of making it now you know i don't know i wanted to try it's kind of a tester deck um because again i use runes a lot like that's a primary reading for me i use them a ton i teach room classes i teach om classes those are alphabets that have um, uh, powerful connotations to each of them. And so there's really no reason that we can't do that with uh, English letters as well. I think also for workings, like if you want to pull specific letters into a working for what, or, you know, spell a word for, you know, setting intentions or doing sort of uh, magical working. Um, you could also pull three, you know, let three or four letters, as, do a nine card maybe and see like what words could come out of it. I don't know. I'm going to play with it. This call, this is just me playing with a uh, concept. And so I thought this is a fun way to play around with it, um, is by making my own alphabet deck. So, oh no, that's the first rip. Okay. Okay. Let's be careful. We can make it work. Not being precious. This one has to be just right, though. I don't, I'm running out of space. Uh, okay, this one is very close to whether it will fit. So I do think I need to get pretty. Oh, no. See, it, it can be. Okay. Okay, let's try to somewhat. Sorry, I know you're probably today seeing a lot of my top of my head. Okay. All right, there's our H. TH or T's, let's go over here. There's our H. Is that a little cub cat jumping into an H? Uh... This is a little dog. It looks like leaping over an H. I think you can use anything for divination. If you know me, you know. I think that you can use anything for divination. Give me something to work with, some colors, you know, something. I really want to use this. I'm going to try this one. Um, so, you know, our brains, you know, if you think about how divination works, right, um, it's just something random, whether it's clouds or it's uh, cards that are on the table or if it is a way that branches are, are, you know, in a tree or if it's the way a log has fallen in a fire. There's something about that random act that triggers into our subconscious. A, a reaction, a symbol, a metaphor, something pops out of our subconscious, right? That's really all divination is. It's using, giving us visuals to help pull forward something, right? So you really can use just about anything. Uh, and people, that's one of the things that I love about divination is that people, the whole, you know, for as long as there have been people, We've been picking up bones, entrails, sticks, stones, cards, um, whatever's around us. We've been picking those things up, uh, the sky, the stars, and we have been gain, uh, using them to gain messages. So um, 
anything. We used bingo. We used a bingo ball for in one of my geomancy classes at the end to do geomancy. The, a bingo, like with the bingo balls in it and the numbers. Um, and we just roll. I got a bingo cage and would pull it out and we use it for geomancy. Like you can use anything really for divination. I don't really like to use it right in the middle like that, but I really want sort of lighter pieces here. So that's the long answer to yes. You could definitely use Boggle for divination, in my opinion. <laughs> um, you know, that would be my, my point. My rambling point. All right. What are we even doing here? What are we at? We did the H. We did the um, TH. And I think we're doing a CH here. I think that's what we're, we're doing. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Oh, my goodness. We're going on three hours. Oops. Oh, that sound like it ate it. Sometimes you get it where it chews the card. Now, my Katamaro never does it. This one will sometimes do it a little bit, but not much. That's, uh, I can live with that, I think. All right, let's find a C to go with this. Let's see. Let's go back to the C's. I want to use that H or that H. Let's see. That's kind of groovy feeling like we're in the 70s. But I kind of, I don't like that in so much in the other ones, but I kind of like it in this one. So let's try it. Zach, that's the app. They definitely use entrails. Uh, you can really use anything. Okay, I might, I might cut some of that off. Let's see. H or that little guy is also kind of calling my name. Sometimes I think if I got to stick it back on, it's better to peel off. This whole shebang. Thought I was being clever. I'm just gonna stop there. There we go. So I can stick this back on. Oh, my sticky messes. Uh, I do I Ching and love doing it with yarrow sticks instead of coins. I have a stack. I don't have yarrow stocks, but I have made a set myself. Process of getting and preparing it puts it out. Yes, for sure. There's definitely, um, you know, when you make your own little decks like this or your own little systems, um, there is definitely something about it. I think I'm just going to stick with this one. We're, we're looking a little groovy here, but that's all right. We can be groovy. Again, I'm going to know it after I use it for a while. All right. So, oops, let's put that. We've got these T, T, H. So, A, B, C, D, E. Oops, see that? I'm going to have to probably put something on it. Uh, F, although I haven't sat down and weighted down it. H, uh, C, H. I think we'll put up by the C, C and C H, and then we have G H, and then we have T and T H there. So that's what we got to. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll take a heavy book and I will um, weight this down um, and let the stickers really stick and bond to it. Okay, let's pick some of this up here. Let me, I'm gonna close this. We've got stuff kind of falling everywhere. Um, 
So we are at I. That's what I need to. Maybe I'll stick a F G H. K. What do we got for K? Oh, I like that K. I like that too, but that's too big. I'll probably use that K. J, although J with Juno I like, so then I'd have to use a different K though. We'll see. We shall see. Um, I like this big pillar of an eye. I'll probably use that. Okay, that would have been pretty actually on this. But I did just use this. I don't know if I'm going to worry about, you know, using more than one, like this one I already have. So I, you know, I'll probably use more than one background. I don't know yet. We'll just see how it goes. Okay. Um, let's pick up some of this. I did want to show you one other thing with paper before I go. Let's see. That's got cut scraps. Scrap. Save your scraps, folks. You can always do other paper crafting with your scraps. I use these boxes that you can get on Michael's. And so I have a box that has cut scraps that are bigger pieces, but cut. I have one with smaller scraps. And then I have one that are set for my magic book, um, the right size for those. And that is how I keep my paper. And I can stack them all like this. And it takes up very little space on my art desk. That one is ready to go. See, those are sticker backings. This is keeps coming out of my book. Okay. All right. Let's, this is all scraps. Okay. Let's stick that in there. Let's stick that in there. Stick that out of the way. We should really just stick something to this so that we can utilize it, shouldn't we? <laughs> um. Uh, let's see. Let's just peek real quick. Is there something that would look good on this? Um, let's look at our, what are we on? We're on, we did H in plenty, right? Did we do regular H? Yes. Is there an I? What, what letter is A? So the way that was a ways back. No, because I really like that I. And I don't like that with that. H I J. I don't really like any of these J's unless I use the Juno. Let's look at the K's. I don't want to use, I have to decide if I want to use that K or that J because I don't want to use both of those. I kind of want, want to use that for K for Kelly. It's a, a Joe Hills show. So there's a show where they use, I, I got to scroll back there. People are talking about something I think where they use Scrabble for, nope, I'm, now I'm reaching. So apparently I don't know if I'm going to use this background one because I'm nothing so far. It's, I like that M. Oh, I could use that M there. Oh, I kind of like that. It's mismatchy in the best kind of ways. All right, so we have a random M. <laughs> there we go. I got. I wanted to. I'd already stuck that on, so I wanted to use it, but none of the other ones before that kind of felt like it went with it. So there we go. We have an M as well. <laughs> I really am happy with this. I think this is really cool. Uh, I am excited about it. I will definitely um, uh, maybe just do another kind of play with me like this and finish making the rest of it together because I think that would be fun. So I might do that versus um, doing it on my own. We'll see. I might get a uh, Jonathan urge and spend the next nine hours doing it. Cause that's, that's what happens sometimes <laughs> we did. Well, I did say in the title, it was going to be kind of a mix of paper crafting. We started with planners. Then we went to my journal guidebook and then we went to this one. So we're kind of doing 
a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But I did want to show you this because I thought this was a really good tip. Uh, let me pull my charms back in here. This is not my uh, final. Uh, we have uh, Deirdre and I, Deirdre of the bags, she's on here. Uh, on Etsy, it's Pie Wackets. I laugh at something. I'm so sorry. To me, she's Deirdre of the Bags. I can't get on board with her actual business name, which is so rude. Um, but anyways, she makes, <laughs> she's my, my bag making friend. And um, we have the perfect fabric that matches really beautifully to this little guidebook. But in the meantime, it's taking up residence here for the moment. Um, but I wanted to show you, this has been really fun. So there is a stack of paper. Let me get these out. There is a stack of uh, scrapbook paper called, uh, do I still have it? Let's see if I still have it intact. Probably not. That would be asking too much of my organization. I think this is it. Okay. I think I got this at Joanne Fabrics. Uh, this is uh, Once Upon a Time a stack that has, as you can tell, Once Upon a Time kind of themed papers. But I pulled out some. It's going to be hard to see in this. I take them out when I'm casting. But, like, this is an amazing casting uh, space. Uh, this map I've been using the most. So what I do is I have, if you watch my casting videos, you know, I have this beloved banged up. Um, it was for hanging scrapbook collages on the wall, I think. Originally, I've had it for years and years. But it fits a piece of scrapbook paper perfectly because it was made to like collage it. This map one has been my favorite. Um, and so, you know, putting that on there, you know, you're doing your doing your thing, doing your thing, shaking the shake, shake it, casting it, but having it on the map, if it ends up in the in the you know corners where there are dragons and the world drops off, you know, you can utilize that. Where it's at, is it in the north, is it south, in the east, and the west of it? So utilizing the map, this has been my favorite one uh, for casting. But look at these other ones. Let me let me show you. So like if you had a relationship reading, uh, doing Happily Ever After would be really cool. Far, Far and Away, that one is really beautiful. I've used that to cast. Just this plain parchment is great for casting. Um, this world map, again, maps are great to cast on. I like the Starry Starry Night one. Um, this one says A Night of Magic. Um, this paper I obviously love. You saw that before. That's just pretty to cast on for a fairy tale deck. Same thing with this. Feels like you're in like an illuminated book and casting on. Um, that's a great casting. It's pretty, but there's nothing really getting in the way. Um, I love this fairy one for, again, my fairy tale charm set. I really like this one as well uh, for casting. Um, and I just put them in these sleeves just to protect them, but they kind of sit at the side where my casting tray is. But he, this one is a great one. Even it doesn't have to be fairy tale charms, but you know what ends up in the middle has extra umph and power to it, right? I usually stand up for casting, but you know, so it scatters, right? Ring will just pop over here. What shows up in the window is something that I would pay more attention to, obviously, than the other ways that I use to read. But I like having that window in the center. It's kind of like, um, you know, similar to uh, laying down a card and casting over the top of it that we've talked about. But I really like this for that particular for the theme of my charm casting set which is fairy tale theme these uh fairy tale backgrounds are really great for casting on um which i've talked about before using catch scrapbook paper to make casting um sheets is a great way to make pretty casting sheets but in particular some of these in this um set i think are just really gorgeous for casting on top of 
Um, love, 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 uh, love it. I've been using that a lot with this set. Um, so I did want to point that out because I love this pig. Can we just ooh and ah over this cute little pig? Um, yes, um, Miss Deirdre, can you stick a link to... She does all my, let's look at my little mini one. This is my mini Lenormand for Nelly's deck that someday will be finished. But this is just Lenormand cards. But look at that. This is our favorite one, I think. Uh, I don't know. I can't speak for Deirdre. But I think this mini one is our favorite bags. But I have so many of these bags. This is right now housing my Kipper, my quick quick thrown together my own kipper um i don't know truthfully if she has these kind of bags on there uh so um these i don't know if she has this type of bag here she just kindly made them for us <laughs> um okay so let's see um let me here i can see if i can get a link let me let me find a link here Let's see. I feel like there's not going to be too many things called pie wackets, playground. I would like, I, I don't think I've had her. No, it doesn't show up. Okay, let's see. Maybe it has to have the S in there. There it is. Okay. Um, I think this is all we need of the link so it fits. Oh, does somebody already do it? I'm gonna I'm gonna hit enter before I look. Miss Jamie, do it. Thank you, Miss Jamie. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, so we have talked about planners. We have oh, somebody asked about the tray. I to be honest, who asked about the tray? I don't even know what you would search for on this. Um Jonathan got a big round tray made from mango wood. Oh, for your casting. That is awesome, Jonathan. Um, um, I have had this tray for a long time. But I will say for a while you could find similar. I like it because it has a lip. You can see it's kind of banged up because I do a lot of casting on it. Um, I like that it has a little bit of a lip. Um, it went missing for a long time due to the Fae, and eventually I found it back again. I had a couple other options, but this is my favorite. It had, like, where you could hang it up. I don't know where I got this. Truthfully, it had to have been Michael's, Joanne's, or Hobby Lobby, but I don't even know what, yeah, maybe, but it's like a 12 by 12 because it fits the perfect, um, you know, it fits a piece of scrapbook paper. So it's like a scrapbook. It's for, it was in the scrapbook collection. I want, it may have been, been Michael. I've never seen it since, or I would buy a backup. Let me just grab my keyboard here real quick, although I don't want it to get sticky. So let's pick this up. Um, scrapbook. Oops. Scrapbook. Paper. Shadow box wall art. <laughs> I don't know. I usually just throw things in until, but the problem is, is that it's not like a lot of times the shadow boxes are super uh, thick. You know, it's got a high lip to it. This one has a perfect lip to it. And it's the perfect size. I've never seen one again. If I would have known how much I loved it, I would have bought two of them. But I've never seen it since. I will go on a hunt to see. But I would try, like, whatever your craft stores are in your area, like Michael's or Joanne's or um, Hobby Lobby or AC Moore. I don't know. Whatever things are around you. Um, I will see if I can try to find it. Um, but I've tried multiple times. I don't know the right exact keywords to stick in. This is a, my reading table that I now will be for the next week while I'm doing readings. I'll be picking up little bits of corner corner rounders. That's one of the reasons I like the uh, Katamara one is that it has a rubber bottom to it. So it catches all the little tiny corner rounds. 
um, whereas this one didn't. But anyways, they do have things like this. And sometimes, uh, like I did find uh, I, somewhere, it's, I, it's not nearby for me to grab it, but sometimes you can find one that has like art at the bottom of it, right? It has, um, uh, let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I still kept it. Let me just look in one place and then I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go get some lunch. Nope, I thought it was right over there, but no. But anyways, um, I found one at Joanne Fabrics. Oh, if you can even still hear me when I'm walking. I find, found one at uh, Joanne Fabrics that wasn't didn't fit it perfectly, so I would kind of cut things in, but it had a tiny lip like this. Um, you really don't want a super high lip, although I think Jamie's casting box has a pretty high lip. Um, but um, I, this is my favorite thing to cast on. So I try very hard for not to have the face steal it again because I don't want to <laughs> lose it again. But anyways, I wanted to point that out, that I, which I've talked about with casting before. But in particular, this set of scrapbook pages, I thought did a really good job um, for casting mats. So um, anyways, <laughs> I think that's enough talking about that uh have we talked about every paper thing that we could possibly talk about today no i'm sure we could come up with more <laughs> but i'm gonna go get some lunch get off here do some other work i do have a work to do but um it was fun i had a lot of fun i am really happy with the sticker book the star of the show today, obviously, was this antiquarian sticker book. It's going to both do this and do this and probably multiple versions of this. Or, again, I think that I'm going to run over. I think I picked this up at Walgreens not that long ago and was disgusted by the color form of it. So I think I'm going to run and see if I can grab uh, one more of these so that I have... Um, so if I want to do doubles of letters, I've got plenty to make the deck out of. Because I'm really happy with how that is turning out for sure. That might be my favorite one. All right. Have, oh, oh, Alicia thinks she found one that's a 12 by 12 on Amazon. You probably can't uh, link it, unfortunately, and I can't, I don't have anything right here. What is the title of it, Alicia, so we can do a search for it? That might be nice. I don't think I can get these back in the box, because once you do all those layers, it makes it too thick. So I'm going to stick the unused ones back in the box. And stick that on top. I will definitely edge this. I think I'll use multiple colors. Or I'll edge it like maybe in this color. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to put in, let me see if I can get a link for this. Tassie Berry Shadow Box Frame. Okay, let me try this. Oops. I'm just going to put in, I don't know why I'm reaching up there. 12 by 12 shadow box frame maybe it's that frame that will help us to that looks like although i don't know if you can lay it in and oh i bet it's more like this edgewood one uh 12 by 12 see the what i had to what one of the things that you have to look for right is that on this frame but that is definitely getting close to it because I didn't want to have to take the window, take, open the frame every time I changed it out, um, which is why I like this particular one, because it was no glass frame, because some of these would definitely work, but you'll have to take the frame in and out to change the... I'm not making much sense. To change out the scrapbook paper, you have to um, take off the back and everything like that, which I really didn't necessarily want to do. Um, and so trying to find one where you can just lay it in there is the best bet. But you may just find one that you like and just leave it in there and it would be fine. Um, but that looks close. I, I'm going to try to keep trying to keep looking. 
<sighs> Let's see what, let me click on this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that because that's not very helpful. Okay, how do I do undo that? Oh, I can't click on links, it looks like. No. Okay. <laughs> Try what Jamie, Miss Jamie is putting, putting on there. What else I going to do? Oh, I was going to try this. Let's do this with one that looks like this color that I would like. Okay. In case I decide to. Oh, yeah. That's perfect for this backing. You have to, you know, the, there's layers of paper here, so you kind of have to try to watch for. That's that's a perfect color for this deck. So maybe I'll just do them all that way. Not that you can see because I'd have to do a few, but I, that's perfect color for that. This is a La Plume to uh, 1122. I, I've got to also get another set of these because they are all dead, but like I have a couple of them. Anyways, we are just, okay, we're going to go. It's been three hours and 14 minutes. I don't even know if I should leave this up, to be honest, because I don't know that anybody's going to watch this back that wasn't here live. But um, thank you all for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, whether that's involving work or not work. Um, and um, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. And I will talk to you all later. I'm going to go get some lunch. Goodbye. <laughs>